Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together today. You know, every day we hear a different story from Muslims and uh, the Muslims, they say they don't worship Muhammad, they worship Allah. And uh, they claim that Islam teach them to be decent, to tell the truth. Uh, they claim that Islam is about decency, uh, you know, being honest, etc. But each time I watch a Muslim video, not only I find how much the video is full of lies, I find it really hilarious. This is Mufti Ming, and I have the link for his video in the info. This is the title of his video. In this video, uh, Mufti Ming, he said, The Prophet was accused of many false things. The Prophet never seek revenge. The Prophet never, you know, harm people. The Prophet never look at women. The Prophet never look for power. The Prophet never look for money. I mean, the video is full of lies. But one of the astonishing lies I stop with is where he said the following. Not at all. What was that? It was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah tells him something. The Prophet is not at all of what they say. Not at all. From their offspring, those who will embrace Islam, go to Ta'if today. You will find from the citizens there, they are, they are no non-Muslims. At Ta'if is a city where when Muhammad, he went there, the people, they did beat Muhammad, they broke his teeth. And Muhammad, he stayed out of his house for a month and he don't want anyone to know what happened to him. It was a shameful behavior. They laugh at him and they say they're from all the Arabia. You is the prophet. But here the funny is that the Arab, they accuse Muhammad of something, something very strange. Not at all. What was that? It was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah tells him something. It used to hurt his heart when Abu Sufyan, al Akhnas ibn Shuraiq, Abu Jahal, and the others used to say bad words about him. They used to spread accusation. He is a womanizer. Astaghfirullah. He is a womanizer. Astaghfirullah. And on what grounds? In what ground? Astaghfirullah. In what ground? <laughs> In what a ground, man? I mean, the guy have 13 wives, unlimited numbers of sex slaves. He made verses, and by the way, those are a privilege. Muslims don't have the same. Muslim can marry only four. He made verses claiming it's coming from Allah, stating that any Muslim woman, she is willing to give herself to the Prophet so he can excuse my language, if her and this potato saying in which ground I mean which ground so honestly what is the ground of your accusation what this have to do with God look all this if we can call it a verse all of this is about how many women Muhammad he can if oh Muhammad you can if the following, your wives, that's the news, the guy is ifing them for the last century and now you are telling him, don't you think the news is too late? The one you paid their mahar, ah, okay. And uh, the uh, your captive slave, okay, how many thousand he have? Uh, whom their right hand possessed to rape your slaves. Whom Allah gave to you, Allah gave it to him, that's, you know, they did not, you know, I mean, Allah. It's not him who captured them, I mean, it says captive, captive. And then Allah gave to you. Oh, okay. And the daughter of your 
paternal uncle, okay, and the daughter of your paternal auntie, okay, and the daughter of your maternal uncle, okay, and the daughter of your uh, maternal auntie, okay, and any immigrant women from Mecca with you, okay, and any believing women, she offer herself to the prophet, she wish the prophet to F her as a privilege for you only and this potato he is saying in which ground is it it is what this is the only you know Muslim this is speak about him as a pro as a prophet right how you know a false prophet from real prophet he gave false prophecies and we can prove Muhammad he gave millions of them even the ones Muslim the same they come to true it, it's it's absolutely false you know a false man when he gave himself a privilege if Muhammad was a Muslim why Muhammad is not a Muslim listen carefully if Muhammad is a Muslim so why Muhammad is not a Muslim because if Muhammad is a Muslim, he will shall, shall have what the Muslim privilege have equally. If the Muslim man he have a privilege to f four wives, why the Prophet he have unlimited numbers, and why he have a privilege that any woman she can offer herself, and why he have a privilege of the money too, the fifth of the booty go to his pocket. And why he have a privilege that nobody can sleep with his wife after he die? And why he have the privilege that he go to his own son wife and he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there? And then they say to you, in which ground you are saying the prophet? You know, this is not about being a womanizer, by the way. The word womanizer is a wrong word. Womanizer, somebody like women, no problem, you know. I mean, all men like women, that's not a secret. But this is about being faithy. This is not about being a womanizer. This is being about being false prophet. A false prophet, he seek always two things from his followers, money and sex. Money and sex. All of them, and for sure, you know, money and sex mean power too. I mean, that power, you know, to be a leader so you can control the crowd. And this is what Muhammad is about. Now, who here is a Muslim? He dared to call us and tell me I'm wrong. Who is a Muslim? He dared us, dear, to call and support what Mufti Minki said. In which ground? In which ground you say and you accuse Muhammad that he is a person after women? He is not after God. In which ground? If you read even the verse before it, when some women who they are over the age Muhammad he prefer, and the funny is, Mufti Mink, when he continued talking, he's saying, the Prophet, he married a woman, she is way older than him. Well, because he is a man who loves money. This is not because he is not after women. He is after old women. Khadija was the richest. She had three husbands. And as Mufti Mink, he said in his video, if he is a womanizer, then why he married a woman? She is way older. Well, isn't she the most rich woman in Quraysh? And Muhammad, he used to work for her. So she is the boss. Obviously, Muhammad was the secretary for the boss. And the boss, he asked the secretary to do things in the office. So Muhammad, he got his opportunity finally to be rich. So he married a woman. She is way, way older than him. She is in the age of his mother. Not because he loved her. But because she is rich. This is why Muhammad, he did not 
marry any women during the time Khadija she was alive because she will kick him out he will go bankrupt after she died he started jumping from a woman to a woman and even children and here in chapter 33 verse number 51 Allah said to him Muhammad when he noticed that some women they are not what he is liking or not the kind he liked to sleep with Allah said to Muhammad, O Muhammad, you can postpone the turn of women whom you will of them. There's no wives, by the way. Those women, they want to sleep with him. And you may receive whom you will. Look, Muhammad, he made a verse saying, any believing woman, she like to be if by me, just offer herself. Women, they start lining up, not because they like Muhammad, but because now they will get a free food. They will get a free shelter. They will get the protection. They get a retirement plan. She will be the, the girlfriend of the Prophet. And the Prophet, any woman he if her, no man can touch her forever. So a believing woman, she offer herself. Well, we believe in women, they start lining up. To the point, Aisha, she said, I felt jealous. And I said to the Prophet, sound to me like your God, he rushed into your desire. Sound to me. Hmm? Read carefully. Aisha, she knew that her husband is a scam. She knew he's a fraud. I mean, who knows more? She is very, she sleep with him in the same bed. I felt jealous of the women who offer themselves to Allah Messenger and said, then when Allah, the exalted, the glorious, revealed this, you may differ any one of them you wish, and you take to yourself any you wish. And if you desire any you have set aside, no sin for you. Oh, look, 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 look. Allah, he sent the verse from Muhammad saying, you may take one now, leave ten later, take the youngest, kick out the oldest, take the, you know, in the old days, you know, like, I don't know if you know, the Arab, they used to like the women, the women who they are big, you know, not the women like today. Today everything changed. <clears throat> like, if a woman she is skinny, supposedly she is a, you know, uh, based on the standard today, she is the beautiful one. And if she is in the old days, if she is so huge, she is the most beautiful. So Muhammad looked like some skinny women. They start lining up, and some old women they start lining up, and Muhammad don't want those. So he said to himself, what the heck? Let me make a verse. And the verse says, give me a license against my previous license. The previous license says any woman she offer herself. Now I want to give myself another license says, well, you know what? I can pick up from them, not all of them. And this is exactly what this verse is about. If we can quote a verse. And look what Aisha, she said to her fraud husband. It seemed to me, Aisha, she said, it seems to me that your Lord has to satisfy, satisfy your sexual desire. Do you see it? So, Mufti Mink, he said, in which, in which ground? Hey, hey, Muslims, in which ground? And look, look at those faces. Look, look, look at this. Look. Long beard. But they will not be able to deal with me for two seconds. They will be in the floor. You see, those people, they have a, uh, they have a big number of subscribers on YouTube, supposedly, etc. But in reality, you can, you can put them in the floor in two seconds. All of those who they are making themselves defending Islam in two seconds. Who can refute this? Why Allah, he want to give the Prophet a privilege to have sex with women to offer themselves to him. Anyone who can tell me what this have to do with serving God. 
What does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with religion? Did Moses give himself a privilege about how many women he can sleep with? Did any of the prophets made verses claiming that God told him you are special and you are special only when it's come to the bed and the money? Anyone? Who is a Muhammad and would like to join us live on air? My Skype is open. Last time we spoke, we have uh, a Muslim girl from Morocco. She decided to leave Islam. And looked like she called me today in the morning, my time, and I wasn't here uh, because she promised she would bring her father, her Moroccan father, to speak to me. But I wasn't, uh, I wasn't live. Do we have any Muslim? Isn't it amazing that you Muslims, you lie, you say in which ground? Isn't it your book saying that the prophet, he went to his own son, wife, when the wife was alone and he flirted with her and then later he took her to bed? And then you say in which ground? Isn't it the prophet, he promised you that you will have a lot of women for bed. However, he have a privilege of the power of 4,000 men in the earth, in heaven. Power of ifing. Every Muslim man, he will have the power of 100 men in heaven. On ifin, Allah will increase his ifin power, mashallah. <laughs> what a religion. <laughs> but Muhammad, he have the power of 40 men of the people of heaven. That is a 4,000 men horse ifin power. Do we have any Muslim? They lie. They praise him. He's amazing. He is so good. He is a thief. How many caravan he attacked? Even his donkey he stole from the Jews. Even his sandals. Even the Muslims, they accuse him that he is a thief. And there is a verse about it in the, in the Quran. He took a piece of a clothing, which is, they themselves, they stole. I mean, like this is after the thief, they steal something, they fight over the bounty. The thieves, they discovered that one of their thieves, his name is Muhammad, he took a piece of a clothing. And this is telling you what kind of a quality, the companion of the prophet. You see, the companion of Jesus, they were walking with him on water, healing people, doing miracles, giving their life, literally sacrificing their life, not by killing people. They got killed. Living poor, dying poor, tortured, Muhammad was busy and his companion, they were busy too. They were looting. And now after looting, they are accusing their prophet that he stole a piece of clothing. And look at the translation. No prophet could ever be false to his trust. Where it says that? I mean, when you read the Muslim translation, this is why, you know, I say like those who debate Muslims based on the translation, 
Muslims can fool you because they can choose a translation. This is false. This is nothing to do. What what false in his trust? This is about he being accused of stealing clothing. Don't let the prophet go to Walmart. He will put a piece of clothing under his skirt. This is your prophet. Face it. What happened to this verse? It is not for any prophet to take illegally. Look, 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 illegally, guys. And it says part of the booty. It's a booty. How it is legal for you? They stole it. They call it booty. It is not for the prophet to take illegally. Look at the, what legal, brother. He took what? What take illegally? He was a thief. False translation. Liars. Liars, my friend. Liars. No dignity. Trust. Yeah, this is the one saying trust. Let us see a different one. Let us see uh, uh, this guy. Uh, Sarwar. Let us say Sarwar. Sarwar. Huh. No prophet can ever trash Horus. A trash Horus person will be brought before Allah. Trash Horus. <laughs> I, I guess those guys are using Google translation. They don't speak Arabic, obviously. Uh, and it is not a trouble to the prophet that he should act and faithfully look where did they get this translation from what act and faithfully what, what what the heck is that sahih international let us see sahih international maybe we got lucky it is not attributable for any prophet that he would act unfaithfully in regard to what about you look what the heck We keep we keep looking uh, translation of curry, curry or curry. Unbelievable, man! Look, a prophet may not breach his trust, and whoever breach his trust will bring breaches into the beaches. And what the heck is that? Let us go and see the interpretation for the verse and you will see how they are trying to duct tape what happened. The companion, they are asking the prophet, where you took it, you, you liar, you stole the panty. Chapter 3, verse 161. Here we go. What happened to this page? Okay. All the translation, they are trying to avoid that the Muslim, they were asking Muhammad, accusing Muhammad. You took it. You took it, you thief. You did take it. Read carefully with me. This is Tafsir Jalain. And when some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, and some people began to say, perhaps the prophet took it. Took it, huh? Or, or steal it. Perhaps. And actually, this verse here, showing us how silly, stupid Islam is. I mean, imagine we have God who is living in the seven galaxies behind the seven seas, watching Mickey Mouse, and now he heard the news that his prophet been accused that he stole a panty. And now the God, he decided to defend the prophet. So what he say? Uh, it's not uh, the prophet uh, to do it. Okay, who did it then? Why you don't tell us who did it? Have you ever heard of detective his name is Allah like this. He solved the problem. It's not Muhammad who took it. Why you don't tell us who took it? 
which actually confirming that two things confirming that Muhammad is a false prophet because if his God is a true God he should tell Muhammad go to the house of this guy he is the one who took it and the other thing it confirmed that Muhammad is the one who took it so when Mufti Mink he says in which ground those people they are speaking bad about the Prophet he was the most honorable He was the most amazing, the most merciful. Not only that, he said that the prophet, he never seek revenge. He never harm people. What the heck? Isn't it your prophet? He put nails in the eyes and cut hands. Is that the punishment in Islam to put nails? Where in the Quran it says you put nails in the eyes of somebody? Is that a punishment or this is torture? Hmm? If somebody kills somebody, you kill him. I understand. No problem. Actually, I agree with it. I agree with the law it says the one who kills should be killed. But what is this? why he is putting nails in their eyes and cutting their hands and their feet and he crucified them and he let them die in the, in the sun huh is that a revenge is that a justice do we have any muslim would like to join us live on air Uh, okay, somebody is an idiot. He is texting me. Let us block you. Only Muslims can text me, especially when I say only Muslims. And even if you are a Muslim, don't text me unless you want to talk. Unless you want me to talk, you talk to you. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan with long beard, short beard, white beard? We accept all kind of beard, even the one which is weird. Anyone? Any Muslim, if you are a Muslim, text me and say, I'm a Muslim, I, wanna, I want you to call me, please. And I will call you. Be sure that you are a mature person. If you are under the age, don't call me. According to Muslims, mature is age of six. We asked them about Aisha. They say she was mature at that time. In fact, Aisha, she was dating at the age of four. Mm -hmm. At that time, brother, female, they grow so fast. Yeah, because they eat fertilizer, you know? I mean, think about it. At that time, things is more healthy. It's organic. Aisha, she eat organic food every day. So she grows so fast. What do you need to grow something fast? Sun and water and organic food. Aisha, she got it all. At the age of four, she was dating. She lost her virginity at the age of three. But not because of sexual relationship. It was because of a bicycle. Any Muslim? And then they say to you, in which ground that the prophet, he was after women. This guy, not only after women, he is after kids. Women, I wish it was just to women. This guy, even after boys. He looked at Osama, and Osama was a young boy. He said, uh, 
Hmm. If Osama was a girl, I would dress him, put makeup on him, make him pretty, and marry him off. If Osama is a girl, why in the world the prophet, he is wishing a boy to be a girl? And when he did that, he did that after he was licking his face. Because the boy, he fell down in the ground. Do we have any Muhammadan? As I said, if you are a Muslim, tell me that you are a Muslim. So I will call you. If you don't tell me you are a Muslim, I will not. If you are not a Muslim, don't try to call me. Do we have any Muslim? You know, the funny thing is, we ask Muslims and we show them reference, which is clearly proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. What the Muslims answer us? Take a look. This is how the Muslims, they run away from what we show in the screen. It's embarrassment. Christian Benz, are you Christian? I mean, again, his name is name. The guy, his name is Hindu Prince. Is he Hindu? Are you Hindu? Hey, Christian Prince, are you Christian? Uh, let me. Can I call a friend, please? I don't know because I'm not sure. Hey, Christian Prince, are you Christian? Okay, answer the first question. Okay, I'm Christian. But are you fully sure? I'm not fully sure, brother. I'm half. I wish I can make a C scan, like a, 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 what they call it, a scan, so you can see which half is full. What's wrong with you? What fully sure? What partly sure? What the heck is the wrong with you? Fully sure? Are you fully insured? Are you fully man or fully idiot or fully ignorant? Either he's a Christian or not. He cannot be fully or half. Half. A, have you ever heard of somebody is half a Christian? He's a, he's a Christian, but he's half sure. And then, are you fully sure about Christianity being truth, that Jesus is being true God? That's deep. What about you as a Muslim? You call me and let us see who is sure, who is not. I am very sure. Are you sure that your God, Allah, is God? Or you are half so, so sure. Who is a Muslim? He is so sure that his God is God. Anyone? Anyone? If you call us, Allah will grow a beard for you. The only one I feel sorry for him is Zachar Naik. This guy, he is trying all his life to grow a beard. He put fertilizer, he put shish kebab, and it's not working. And look at this beard. You know, when they grow beard, is that because they have knowledge? or because they are trying to cover up their neck. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and show us that we are wrong? That Muhammad was honorable, wonderful, acceptable, I mean, even the people around him, even his uncle, you see the, you see the names he mentioned? The names he mentioned is people, who they are his family. The family of Muhammad, they knew he's a false person.
When a Muslim, he tried to be proud about his prophet, what he do? What is exactly will make me proud about Muhammad? Beside that he can do so good with women, which is absolutely false, by the way, because the hadith itself confirmed that the prophet, he never had sex with his wives. This is why they cannot have babies. Aisha, she said, the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual relationship with his wives. In fact, he did not. So Muhammad was doing what? What was Muhammad doing during the time which is coming from the date of such and in the date of such? You see, such and such is a very well-known well -known way to date things in Islam. Islamic religion, by the way, is very historical. Look, when you are born in the year of such, which the month? In the month of such. Okay, what day? In the day of Sachin. In the day of Sachin, like you can say 15, 16, you know? So, in you know, from such, and for such and such. I mean, the prophet between the two such was what? Was imagining himself having sex. Between the two such. Victor saying, who is the donkey? He blocked me. My friend, you are insulting my admins. And that sounds like you have a, they, they have a reason to block you. Here we go. I will block you. Who is the donkey? He blocked me. What you expect now? People not to block you for saying that? Yeah, here we go. We blocked you. What you can do about it? Go eat hummus. Who is a Mohammedan can tell us what's going on? As you see, you're a prophet from the date of the from the year of such until the month and the year of such, till the day of such, he was imagining himself such a sex doing. It was a such all over the place. Actually, I believe that the Muslim they started a new religion is called the prophet of such and such may Allah such on him and you know the prophet was under the such and such black magic and Allah was doing what he was watching so Allah he rushed into help only when the prophet when in need of verses to F women but when he cannot F Allah he is just standing still watching for such and such a time watching Who is a such a scholar? He can make such a call so he can such us with his answer. So we can such together. CP, everyone here can block each other. Yeah, I know that. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Any Muhammadan here? Any Sheikh? Anyone? Nobody? Okay, Victor, we made your vo your, your name come back again. You can text again, but don't use uh, such a language. Uh, so only Gentiles can come out of your mouth. Is that the Holy Spirit? That's deep. Brother, you just got me busted. People, people, look how this Muslim, he got me busted. 
Look what he said. Herji Herja. Man, your name is a musical. Let me sing it. Herji Herja, how are you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Isn't it your prophet? Keep saying penis, saying vagina all the day to you. Herja, Herja, what's wrong you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. I am just quoting your prophet. Isn't it your prophet? He said you will have an endless penis. So when I quote your prophet, you are saying to me, is that the Holy Spirit, Abdul? In fact, according to you Muslims, all Muhammad words is coming from the Holy Spirit, the Islamic Holy Spirit, which means you are right. When Muhammad, he say vagina, the Holy Spirit of Islam is giving it to him. When Muhammad, he say penis, the Holy Spirit of Islam is given to him. Uh, actually, hold on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I should show you this uh, this hadith as long as you mention it. Have you ever heard of a religion that the God he said to his prophet, if you if your wife, Allah will give you a good deed. Yeah, you mention it, you mention it. You know, I heard about a lot of religion, but I never heard that if somebody F his wife, he will receive good deed. Read carefully with me. And look at the Muslim translation. <laughs> Could have felt his desire. <laughs> the guy he said, the people say, uh, ask, he fulfilled his diet. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, the prophet said in the morning, arms are due for every, every bone. In a man figure, every bone, okay. And toes, salutation in everyone. Salutation, salutation, yes, uh, everyone. He meet his arms. Enjoying good is arms. Forbidding what is this is this is this is brutal is arm is arms removing what is harmful from the road is arms wonderful having sexual intercourse with his wife is arms what the heck what if in your wife you are doing good deeds? I mean, even this one you are asked, didn't Allah, hey Allah, look what I did to you. Even, even, even this one, you Muslim, you want a reward for it? Are you there, Mr. Hijri, Hijra? Guys, I have to go because I need to do a lot of good deeds. Okay, sorry. I can't stay long. Okay, honey, I'm coming. Just let us go and make us some good deed. You will receive a lot of deed. And each time, like, bing, boom, bing, you know. Not only that, actually. Uh, there's different hadith, actually. I'm trying to find it. He said, each time you put it in, you receive a deed. Each time, what? What the heck? Actually, not, not only that, you will find the video in Mufti Mink. Mufti Mink, he have a video about it. Each time you put it in, you receive a deed. The deed, the deed, the deed is coming. I mean, the deed is coming, literally. What the heck? And you are talking about uh, what I'm talking about. This is your religion. Let us go to the Quran. Have you ever heard of a book of God? Describe what is, how the vagina is in the heaven. Me. Look, look, look. This is the religion of Allah. Masala. Amar Rabbi Aman. Amar Rabbi Aman. Who can call Erdogan? Brother, as long you are talking about ad, 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 against talking about Gentiles, what the heck is this? 
alms mean deed, good deeds, good deed. You receive good deed. So like, you know, you you know, your wife, she take off her panty, you start doing things, you know, each time you go in, out, in, on, you know, you are receiving a death deed. So like you have to count how many times you put it in and out, excuse my language, and then you can calculate how much deed you receive. So like 100 times, 100 deed, to make it simple for you. Do we have any Muhammadan he wanna? I mean, look, look how they refute me. Look how they answer me. I caught their prophet, like Mimi Hijab. He wanted to frame me. He said, "A Christian sexual predator." I was quoting your faith, your prophet, your coward, and your sister. She was insulting Jesus. She said that he play with his uh, mother boobs. She's a whore. You did not get it. How can God be born? of a man for Jesus to be God, Mary have to be goddess to brother. That's deep. That's deep. Look how he changed the topic in the speed of light. He didn't want to talk about Gentile no more. Do you see how fast the first topic he got busted. He said, let me switch. Let us switch fast. Before it's too late, he is exposing more verses and more stories from my stupid prophet, the only 24 hours a day. But at the end of the day, he can do nothing about it. So let us switch the topic. Okay, no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You did not get it. How can God be born of a man? What the heck? Who is the man which is God is born of a man? Abdul? Ah, hold on. Now I got it. According to your God in the Quran, Jesus was the Word of God. And that Word is from Allah. And Allah is where the Word is born from. Hmm. It must be right then. He is born of God in Christianity. He is born of God in Islam. How come you did not get it? Isn't it your stupid Quran says that Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary? So where was Jesus before he came to Mary? He was above. Above where? Where? In heaven. Where? You will say to me in the mouth of Allah. What the heck? Is that your Quran or I'm making things up? Why you don't call me, my friend? What you will lose if you call me? <clears throat> Chapter 4, verse number 171. It says that the Messiah is the word of Allah which sent down to Mary. Chapter 4, four verse number 171, confirm many things actually. Number one, that Jesus was the word, and here Muhammad obviously is copying John chapter 1, verse number 1. And that word was sent down to where? To Mary. Wonderful. How Mary receive it? The Quran says he sent down. Look, look at this. O oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah ought but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was between two brackets no more than a messenger. Okay, wonderful. And he is his word. So Jesus is a messenger and he is the message. Well, this is what the Christian is saying. God the Father, he sent him to be a messenger and a message, for he is his only begotten son. Where Jesus is born from? From God. Where the word of God is coming from? Who is a Muslim can answer me? Where the word of Allah is coming from? Any Muslim can tell us? 
I challenge this guy Hijri or Hijra. He will not change the topic. Where the word of Allah is coming from? Any Muslim can tell us. Now he will try to think for a different topic. They don't want to answer. Where the word of Allah is coming from? My friend, the one who keep talking about uh, Safwan, and we got it. We don't repeat many 1,000 times in Arabic. Hirji, are you there? Where is the word of Allah is born from? Come on, guys. I have to teach the Christian that Trinity was discovered 300 years after Jesus. Changing the topic in the speed of light. I just text you. You text me my name. What text me my name? What do you mean text me my name? You text me in Skype? Guys, come on, guys. Trinity discovered, brother. The Trinity was discovered. Discovered. I like Discovery Channel, by the way. 300 years after Jesus. That's a good thing. Who is the donkey? He said that to you. Let us see this guy. <coughs> we are calling our friend. Hello? Hello? All right, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Where is the word of One God? One second, is please. I'm trying to get the uh, sound off. Huh? Where is the Where is the word of God is born from? Ah, uh, one second, please. I can't hear you. The uh, volume is a bit down here. What? Hello. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you the one who uh, his name is Hirji in the chat? No, I don't, I'm not the one. Oh, okay. Well, you are a Muslim, right? I am a Muslim. All right. We were talking about where is the word of Allah is coming from. What do you think? From Allah. I came from Allah. From where? From Him. Uh, How can your word come from another okay. person? If you are talking, no, your word is coming from you. Right? All right. Okay. So the word of Allah is coming from Allah, but from where? Do He speak with His mouth? If He has mouth. We don't know. We know there is Allah. We don't if know he, uh, how is. If he have mouth. We don't. If he have mouth. We don't use if here. Allah spoke, and we don't know how the creation of air. I don't. I can't say creation. How Allah is, we don't know. So if he said that's his word, that's his word. That's how we take it because we never see Allah. He never gave us his image how it is. So uh, like, we can't see so, from his mouth. So when Allah is so, but Allah have eyes, right? I can't tell. That's you don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah. I say we know there's Allah. I never see Allah says, I have eyes like you, I have nose like you, I have mouth like you. I don't know. So I know Allah says that. We use the word said because that's what we people can use. We can say Allah said. But so we don't know how he so says when, so, when, so when Allah he say I said, he don't mean he said, he means something else. Now you're trying to let me speak to uh, for Allah. I can't speak for Allah. No, no, I'm I not asking you to what... speak for Allah. I'm asking you. Uh -huh. uh, when Allah yeah. He say, He said, He 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 did not say anything. It was a lie. No, he, if He said, He said. But no. don't uh, don't ask me to say with His mouth, with His nose, with His ears. I don't know. Okay, so does the Quran say Allah He said? He said that. I'm asking you, you are the Muslim, not me. Yeah, that's why I said the Quran said that. Allah said. Okay, so Allah, he said, so how you say to me, Allah, he did not mean to say, I said, like everybody said. So why he is saying, I said, if you don't change say... my word. Okay. I didn't say, Allah didn't say. 
Okay. I said, I just confirmed to you the Quran said Allah said, but don't make me say Allah said with his mouth or with however Allah says it will get the message. Okay. And he said, he let said us, that. Let us yeah. focus on something very, very important. When you say yeah. to me, when we say that Muslim believe that Allah have uh, eyes, he have a mouth, he have a hand, he have a foot. Do Allah use his hands? Where, uh, where did Muslim believe that? I'm asking you. You are the Muslim, not me. Yeah, but why are you saying if you are not a Muslim, why do you say Muslim believe Allah have mouth, eyes, and hands, and everything? Well, we can use it. We can use those figure like a figure of speech and say, in the hands of Allah, we are all in the hands of Allah. But it doesn't mean we are sitting in His hands or we see His hands. But okay. if if like you have kids now, we can say your kids are in your hands. But it doesn't mean they no, are sitting in your hands. No, we can say my God, my my kids in my hand. How does that work? That's, yeah, that is, said, that is that's what correct. I'm telling you. No, like, I'm wait, asking, I'm, okay, go, did Allah I'm create? You, did Allah create? Did Allah create? Don't any, don't jump from question. Let's finish one. No, no we are in the question. Another. Did Allah create yeah, anything that's using what I'm his? Saying, like, did Allah create? I'm finishing anything, with your kids. Did example, Allah create anything if, uh, using his hands? If anybody is under your control, if anybody is under your control, we say he is in your hands. But doesn't mean he's inside your hands. But we have here an action. We have an action. We are not talking about metaphorical. Did Allah create things by his hands? If he wills, he uses his hands to create it. How he use the hands, if his uh, hands like we have, it's up to Allah. Okay, we I'm, can't I'm, say that. I'm just going with your word. You just said he used yeah. his hands to create them. I didn't say he used his hand. Well, he, I said uh, if Allah, if Allah uses his hand like he said, uh -huh. we don't know how the hand sits. Who cares? But, but he uses his hands. Our hand. Who cares? If he says hands, we, we, don't, yeah, we don't care how his hands look like, my friend. Maybe he have six fingers. This is not the question. But Allah, He used His hands to create, correct? That's what you said. I, it's not me. You're, you're, this is your religion saying that. Yeah, so He used His hand. Okay, okay. So how you claim now that Allah, when He speaks, He don't use His mouth? If Allah, in order to create, He have to use His hand, then well, when Allah, He speaks... You are changing things. Don't, make, don't say, I'm claiming. I didn't claim anything. What I'm telling you, like Muslims, we don't, we never have image of Allah like you people have. No, you your, do. The no, image you of do. Your God. no, no, you do. No, you do. We do. Yes, you do. You don't know. We don't have image of Allah. No, you do. Did the Quran says uh, how image of Allah is? Well, I just, you know, I, I just told you that Allah He created by using His hand. You are saying we don't have an image. You have hands. You have a foot. You have a shin. You have a face. If somebody, that's what I'm telling you. Okay. If somebody use another figure to describe something, doesn't mean that unless he tells you this is my image. Okay. Then, or did, he did, shows did us. Allah, our... Did Allah create Adam in His image? Did the Quran says that? The Hadith. Like you see, any anything that contradicts with Quran. Okay. Show me. We know what, the show me where that it is says, not Sahih. We know. Show me how. Listen. Show let me, me how, finish. You don't. Show you me see, how that You control the things. You don't let fini uh, people well, friend, finish. We are having a conversation. We are having a conversation. I yeah. So let me finish. Let me you. Let me don't complain. Don't you cry. Don't complain. Another. You can talk. I'm talking no, at the same time. No, I'm not complaining. So I did not stop That's you. how you. We are having a conversation. So you said. You said this is a contradiction for the Quran. How Allah He said your prophet He said. Allah, He created Adam in His image. You are saying to me, this is contradict the Quran. The How that? You said, listen, where, where you see this hadith that is uh, sahih, and we have hadith that is not, we don't have the uh, like chain for it and everything. Well, this, so, is, this is the da'if hadith. So, what we would do now? So, what, so what do you mean this hadith is da'if? Da this is da'if hadith. You are right. This is da'if. Saying is da'if. I'm huh. telling you. If any, I can, I'm not a scholar to tell you this is Taif, this is Sahih or whatever. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you, if any of these contradicts Quran in the slightest way, okay. we leave it. The okay. Quran is the ultimate. I will go. I will go with you. I will go with you. The Quran says you, you do. The Quran. The Quran says you do muta. The Hadith says you don't do muta. Which one you follow? You go with Quran if Quran says that. So you still practice muta until now? I'm saying I go with Quran. If I, Quran I, says I understand. That, I understand. I understand. Do you still practice muta until now? If the Quran says that, I can do it if I want. Okay. Because so, that so why you so to... why you Muslim follow the Hadith and the Quran says you do muta? The Muslim Sunni, all of them Sunni. Are you Sunni? It doesn't matter. I'm a Muslim. You are. A, there's nothing. It's called a Muslim. Your prophet he says there's 73 sect. You have to be one of them. No, it doesn't matter. No, but the it doesn't matter. Your prophet no, he said, 
You're a prophet. It, it, the, You're it, a the, prophet. Pro, uh, the prophets say you have to be one of the sects. Yes, because he decided there are 73. There's no extra. There's no less. There's no more. It, the, the Muslim is the person who believe in the oneness of Allah, submission and everything, and believe in Prophet Muhammad is a Muslim. My friend, you all of them, they Muslim, believe in what you, you say. All, all of them, they ah. believe in what you say. Stop playing games. All those uh, sects. I'm not playing they, game. You're this, trying to okay, be smart here. Okay, here we go. Here, your prophet, said, your prophet said, he said, the Jews were split into 71 or 72. The Christian, they split into 71 or 72. And my community will split into 73 sect. So you have to be one of so them. So which, which, sect, which sect are you? In Christianity, this is a lie. We are not 73 sect. This is a lie. Can you count them for me? So, if you say, yeah. if you say there is no 73 yeah. in each of uh, Jews, Christians, and Muslims, if he's you say that, so it okay. depends if the hadith is sahih okay. or okay. not. It's, if a, it's, it, it's sahih. This is sahih. Where it's in front of you, it says sahih. Don't yeah, you, but how do you, don't know, you know how to how read? Do you know it's sahih? How do you know? Are you a Muslim? You, you, are you a you, you Muslim told me. You Muslim told me. This is Sahih. It says in you, front of me. Muslim. You don't have Muslim friends. There's no Muslim. He's your. Uh, that's your friend. Uh, don't say your Muslim told you. You don't have a Muslim friend. No, I don't have a Muslim friend. No, sure. So why do you say our, your our Muslim friend told you? Nobody tells you. I did not you. say my Muslim friend. friend. I said my friend. You're Muslim. You're Muslim. I'm talking to you. You yeah, Muslim you told Muslim me. Here we go. Is me. that your website saying this is Sahih Hadith? Which website? The sunnah.com. Yeah, the website is created by a human. Human that this is a created by so the, they put in So two. okay, guys, the website is a created by a human. Who is the one who printed the Quran? Operated. Who who printed the Quran? Humans printed uh, printed okay. the Quran. You just said that if the but hadith is a printed by the human, the is not from there. If the, but hadith, the website is okay. Hold on. Look. Do you have the name of the website? You is see? by the person who created it. He decided to give the website a name. No problem. And you then do not the person need, who printed don't it. Don't go to the words, don't go to the website. Open the Sahih book hadith. Those are your scholar. This is Sunan Ibn Majah. This is your Sheikh Ibn Majah. Who is Ibn Majah? First you, of all, you never heard of is him. Is he a prophet? Imagine. You never, okay. I heard of him, but this, that tells okay. me, is, does he get word from Allah? What, did Muhammad, sent by did Allah? Muhammad receive word from Allah saying that? Did Allah give Muhammad word saying that your nation will be 73 sect? I'm, you're just going back to whatever we just spoke and then you're telling the same thing. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, if anything, if the Quran says 73 sect, I go with it 100%. If any hadith says that, Quran never says that. Okay, there is you know a what? doubt there. There oh, can be hadith. Uh -huh. I will give you. I will give you a test to see how much honest you are. Don't give me a test. I'm not here. I'm not in school. No, no, yet. no, no. You We're said just talking. you said don't, you go. No, don't say test. You said, just ask you, question, said, ask you, said you said you go only by the Quran. Whatever the Quran says. I didn't say only by the Quran. So what do you go? You go you by see, the hadith. You see, you always trying to. Do you give, go by the hadith? Oh, well, I gave you a hadith. You refuse it. I gave you a hadith. It says I refuse it. No, before you trying to. Yeah, why do you say I refuse? Uh, I didn't believe in hadith. I, I only go in uh, with Quran. I didn't say that. Okay. You are putting how up, you didn't uh, verify when I showed you the hadith? How you verify that this is the wrong hadith? The scholars do that. Okay, but the scholars the in the scholars front of you. Humans. The scholars, they, they also are the scholars in the front of you. They say this is what the prophet said. All the scholars. How many scholars are all the scholars? Don't tell me all the scholars. Use your words carefully. You can say a scholar said. Well, is, all is, Al -Bukhari, is Al Bukhari a, a, your scholar and he is the scholar of the scholars? That's what I heard. But if it okay. is this so from Bukhari, is Al, Bu is Al Bukhari, uh, listen, is, let me finish. Is Al Bukhari, you, don't let me say yes, is Al Bukhari trustworthy? Is Al Bukhari told, no, trustworthy or just not? wait. Huh. You see, that's how you argue. Here we go. You, you cry. Are, you, Each time you think I get you have busted, points. you cry. No, is you are Al Bukhari. Is because you're not letting me learn. Is Al Bukhari If you're not letting people is learn, you don't trust, get what they are Is Al Bukhari no. trustworthy? Yes or no? In, uh, but if uh, you just want me to answer yes, no, yes, no, I'm not a toy here. There's no, there's, you listen. There's no middle. If there's I give you a yes, point, I have to tell you no, something there's about. There's no it. middle. There's no middle. Either he is a trustworthy or he is not a trustworthy. So is he trustworthy or not? Bukhari is a, uh, is a human, right? Oh, a prophet Muhammad is a human, isn't he? He is. So that's how, why he said, okay. that's why the Quran said he doesn't say a word from himself, but what he had. Exactly. So that's what makes Thank you. human. Thank you very much. That's what puts him in a limited way that whatever he says All right. is reliable. As long from as Allah long straight. everything Muhammad he received is not from him, it's from Allah. 
how Muhammad he claimed that hail is coming from mountains in the sky. What hail? Yeah, hail in the hadith. He said hail is coming from the sky. Now you're going again in the hadith. So what? I thought what you want to say something from the Quran. So you are saying if, uh, if so, if I find something in the Quran like that, then you will accept or you will reject too? Yeah, just tell me what Quran says about the hail. Then we can discuss that. Well, the if anything hadith, you uh -huh. can tell me hadith. And then since we have. There is an hadith that is not true, and okay. there is an hadith that is true. Right. We can doubt. There's always doubt there. So just if you want to make a point, strong point, just uh -huh. always focus on Quran. Say Quran says that, and okay. then prove me wrong or right. All That's right. it. Okay, no problem. So if I if we go now and we find this in the Quran, is that the proof that Muhammad is a is a false prophet? No, you just have to tell me what is it in the Quran. Just go there. Don't chapter, start, uh, chapter, 24, chapter 24, verse number 43. Is it on YouTube? Uh, is the uh, translation on YouTube? Don't you speak Arabic? I don't speak Arabic. I'm not Arabic. So how do you know what the Quran is saying? I have translation as well. I can read Which, the Quran. What, tra but I don't... what translation you like? That's why I say because you always... I, I'm I asking see you your, what uh, translation you like. It's English. What Why do you want to put in? We're speaking English. What the name of the translator? It doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter. Just put trust. You so, always put. You never ask okay. people. So, so just put. Okay. So I will put for you. I will put for you the translation. And now you will tell me what do you think. What? What? Uh, is that okay? One second. I just want to see uh, if I can see the, the translation on YouTube. Uh -huh. One second, please. One second. One second, please. No problem. No problem. Take your time. Just say, uh, let me hear if I can hear you now. Hello? Go ahead. Do you see it in YouTube? I can't tell where I don't have the Can you speak in? Huh? Um, just say it. I can't see the, uh, this thing. Because I'm using on the phone and I want to see on YouTube and I can't hear you. No problem. I Take your time. Take looking. your time. Just to mute Just talk. You no, can, talk. I'm you, not going to listen. Can, you, just... can open, you can open YouTube just to mute YouTube. You mute it. Yeah, we, we, you, will, you will watch, but you will not uh, hear. You will yeah, hear. I did that. I mute the YouTube, but uh, I can't get you speaking. Okay, here in front of me, the, the translation it says, in the front of, of me, translation says, and he sent, Don't worry about YouTube. And, just and he read sent, the translation. No problem. And he sends, down out of here. heaven mountains wherein is hail. It's hail. What do you mean hail? Like hail, 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 ice, ice. You know, hail. You know, like those, yeah, like, yeah. like, uh, like a, like a golf balls. They come from the sky. The ice. Yeah. According, so according, to prophet, according to your prophet, according to your prophet, his God. No, are you him, talking Quran? According to Allah. Well, according to your if Allah. If you are talking Quran, well, don't you know, say. Uh, yeah. You see, in a, in a, in two seconds from now, you will say to me, Allah did not say that. Hold on. No, so, no, no, no. If you say it's in the Quran, I'll, I'll defend it. Don't worry. Just you, let's go. You on. said that already when I said to you the hadith says, you said to me there's no, hadith. You said hadith. The hadith, hadith are, I gave you a good are, example. Are, uh, uh, they are, they, we don't accept them. Okay, so now we have Quran. Don't so talk, uh, 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 now you are talking. Uh, 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 uh. Last yeah. time I heard so you, you saying the, Do you saying, accept uh, the Quran? Uh, 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 do you accept the Quran saying Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven? So I said I can't see it now. Read it. What I did, what, I did, uh, I did. What's wrong with you? I told you open YouTube, you refuse. I read it for you, uh, and you are asking me read it for me. Here we go. Let me read again. Hard. Shut up. Let me read. Make and he said, Shut make up. Make let me read. Let me read. Us. Listen. And he sent down. <laughs> what, what, what Shut up. Let me read. Let, you asked me to read it for you. Ayah. You asked me to read it for you. You don't want me to read it for you. Tell me surah and ayah and read it. I did. You're going to say Surah Maida, Ayah 1. I did like from the this. beginning. I said to you, chapter no, 24, me, chapter 24, verse number 43. It's in the front of me in the screen. Yes. And he sent okay. down out of heaven mountains where is hail. What say you? Out of heaven. Yeah, there's mountains. mountains. They are flying. In the, in the heaven, there's mountains flying. And Not in the heaven. He said from heaven. Yeah, from the heaven in the sky. Yeah, there's so not, there's not, the, the mountain is not in the heaven. It's sent from heaven. That's so No, no. So he sent the hail from heaven out of mountains. Yeah. yeah. Out of mountains. Yeah. Yeah. So the, 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 the hail is coming from mountains. They are in the sky. Allah, he break ice from there and he sent it down to us. Yeah. So what is wrong with that? But isn't it this is something laughable and every kid 
in the world today he knew that this is false is that what science teach that, so uh, that so, ice... so what are you telling me how, how do you prove that is uh, wrong from the quran well you can go right now and check any website for or a book for children in your in your country which country is yours mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know your country. Why do you want to know my country? No problem, but I'm asking you in your school did not teach you how hail is made? Hail is not no, who, who, hail is coming who, from who, mountains. Hail is coming from mountains in the sky. This is what science says. And then there's a what God. Si what, what did science say? S uh, science says when, 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 okay, when there is a cloud and there is a steam become a cloud, and then there is like two uh, the two body of air. One is so hot, one is so cold, and when the rain is coming, in a certain point, he go through very cold air, and that will make him ice, and then will make the uh, the, the the rain ice, and that will fail on us. Yeah, but they have according, three type of rain, According right? to your religion, according they, they, to your religion, no, they, 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 according, they, uh, but, science. But, but, okay, so science said they have three type of rains. We have cyclonic, we have relief, we have uh, conventional rain. Here we rain. go. You, you three know, type so of rain. Now, now you became expert. So how the Quran says? I'm not says, an expert. I'm just so telling you. I'm how the Quran to your point. says? How the Quran the, no, says? There's that mountains. That is what science says. How the Quran that is what says? Listen. How the Quran says there's mountains in the sky and hail is sent down from it. Very simple. Because that is the the Quran says, and we are not given knowledge except a little, right? Uh -huh. That is the word of Allah. We okay. have little knowledge here. So, so science came here. Uh -huh. oh, listen to me. Why uh -huh. don't you let me finish? Okay. You okay. always have to let somebody finish. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So science says mm. we have a uh, Quran says we we are given little knowledge. Uh -huh. That's what we have. Uh -huh. And the human brain, the, that science that you are proud of. Uh -huh. Science told us we didn't even go to the extreme of our uh, brain. Uh -huh. That means we are using little percentage of our brain. Mm. And this science that you are proud of mm. is the same science that comes with a, a problem and then later upgrade it, learning, like researching, and then later know something and tell you, okay, we are wrong before, uh -huh. and now that is the solution. Okay. Science is that. And then we know science always, like, uh, mm. it's not something uh, perfect. It's limited. Mm, Quran is perfect. We have, uh, okay. people, but this is I'm very, my you, friend, the, listen, the science will not uh, upgrade that because finish. this is very I'll simple. Tell you when I'm I can make, I time. can make hail in my refrigerator. I do not need all this uh, theory. Do you say talk? I agree with you that science sometimes upgrade. They found themselves wrong, etc. No problem. But this is hail. So don't this, tell is me, so this, is Quran, this is something. This is something. Very, this is something very. This is something silly. This is, says, this is something silly. This is something silly. You do not need to upgrade. It will never be upgraded. Everybody know it. It is. It is. It is not going to the seven galaxies to to find out. This is about something here in our cloud, and you, and, and they can make it even made. It, they can make it. Yeah, here. because you didn't okay. go there. So Science now we did not you. go there. You are but you're God. Your okay. So now you agree that uh, what, I didn't what? agree with anything. I'm telling no. you what I agree with, and no. you are okay. not listening. Do you agree with the Quran saying He sent down hail from mountains in heaven? Do you agree? Except. I, I, I hundred percent, more than hundred percent. Okay, because so, okay. science has to go to that level to understand what Quran is saying. Wonderful. Science is something that is learning. Wonderful. You understand? So, because science is here, uh -huh. let me tell you something. Yeah, I go to hospital to visit some sick people, uh, sick people, and everything, mm. and I see people that they told uh, um, the pregnant woman mm. that the baby is having five months. They discover the baby is having Down syndrome. Okay, and they, they are doing everything mm -hmm. like trying praying and everything if they can cure the baby. Uh -huh. Science cannot do anything. How many years science couldn't find any uh, solution for Down syndrome? All the right. baby is born and then he will die with some uh, Down syndrome. Okay, but science couldn't. But do but so can 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 can, can science? Okay, I'll ask, ask you a question about the same topic. Can science discover what the women she have a male or a female? The Quran already told us before science. I'm asking you, do can the can can the science tell us if the women she because has made she have a, she is going us, to give birth to a male or a female? Can the science because tell us? Quran gave us a guidelines of what is happening in the? Uh, I'm asking you a question. Why don't answer? Can can, yeah. can the hospital you go to tell us that your wife she will give a birth to a boy or a girl? Can they or they the, cannot? Yeah, with ultrasound they can. All right. So how the Quran says nobody knows that save Allah. Nobody knows what uh, what is in the belly. Yeah, nobody knows yeah, save before, Allah. Yeah, when the when the ayah came, nobody knows. But ah, he gave us knowledge. Yeah, 
Okay. That is five so guys, that's okay, guys, almost when the ayah years came, ago. Listen, okay, okay, listen. Hold on, okay. Almost fifteen hundred years ago, that ayah is there. Nobody <laughs> knows. Nobody knows. And then Allah decided to give us a knowledge. He told us. He always give us knowledge. He always upgrade us as humans. <laughs> no, before no, people are, my friend, no. Before people no, my friend, are going listen, 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 problem, listen, everybody, everybody, everybody is looking, everybody is looking at you now. You see, you are now, saying, now you are saying to me, you are saying to me, Allah will give us knowledge. The knowledge Allah will give us. Give us only through the Quran and he's a prophet, not through a doctor, he is from India, not through, no. not through no. An, no. an atheist or a Christian. The knowledge only comes from the Quran, and not only that, your God Allah, He claimed that things nobody have except Him, knowing the hour, chapter 31, verse number 34. So who knows the listen, hour? listen, who knows the hour, Allah? Who knows when the when the near will, will come down, Allah? Who knows what is inside the womb, Allah? You said to me, Allah will give us later, but Allah here is telling us that those nobody knows save Him. Yeah. This is this is the science. Then, do you this know? Is, this is the proof. Do you that know that? Is, do you listen, know of listen. many cases that the doctor told the woman ah, that she's going to have Ah, many cases. Ah, many cases. Ah, many cases. Okay, listen. So, no, tell but, me, but wrong nobody right. knows. Do you nobody know? Knows. Some, okay, uh, hold on. Do you don't know change. Don't change. Sound, you see. Uh, it says here, no, now you're running you away from the same you, topic. You you're running away. No, no you, you are the laughing one. here. Your I show you, I show you the now. reference. You run away each time I show you. Now it's okay. Well, Allah will give no, us No, you're knowledge. running away now. I'm okay. talking about the ultrasound. So who is you the said one? the doctor okay. from India but knows Allah it's a boy or a girl. And I'm claimed, asking you. No, in, in, no you can't run away from this one. I have to make this point. Come to your Trust me, you're not running away from this one. They will give you exactly what his gender and they will never be wrong. Secondly, when your God he claimed, when your God, when your when your when your God he claimed that only him knew that he is a liar because we know when the rain come. We no. know we know a week in advance when the rain will come. We know a week in advance when hurricane come. We know days before when there's going to be a disaster or or, or a storm. You see, that's but, that's that's but, why you are lying to yourself. Uh -huh. There's a lot of cases that they tell us it's going to rain tomorrow. Hmm. And then the, the day comes without the rain. Where I work, if it rains, I okay, cannot work. I will go with and you. I, I, can I, read I will go with you. I will go with you. Gonna, so gonna if rain. Somebody and then says, the next day it's not raining. All right. If somebody huh? says something will happen tomorrow and the tomorrow never come, he is a liar. Do you agree? What tomorrow never come? Tomorrow always comes. You just said to me, the, uh, no, you judgment. said to me something will happen tomorrow and rain did not come. Right? I, don't, I didn't say something will happen. I told you uh -huh. the meteorologists tell us tomorrow is going to rain. Yeah. And then we wait tomorrow and it never rains. We never say they don't know anything. Okay. We know there is superpower that because that they do are, things they, because the way they he are wants. from Pakistan, my friend. Come to USA, they will tell no, you what no, it is. Okay, now listen. you're trying to be a comedian. No, I'm not. Just I'm to, not. Uh, I remember your fans, your in Saudi Arabia, listen, in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi point, Arabia, the weather news as the following. Inshallah, tomorrow is going to be raining. Inshallah, tomorrow is going to be sandy. Inshallah, tomorrow we have a sandstorm. Inshallah, this will never happen. Yeah. Now, listen carefully now. So do you agree that nobody knows what is in the womb and when the rain will come and when the hour will be except Allah or you don't agree with this? If he gives us knowledge to know something, we know. Uh -huh. But always he knows unless he permitted you to know. Oh, did, did, That's how I'm But he way. just said he did not permit us. Only Allah he knows. I, there's a uh, Quran that says who, who knows of his knowledge unless it with his permission. Okay. You don't know anything. Uh, okay. When you know something, he gives you the permission to know. All right. That's why he gave us the brain to okay. research. Did there Allah give? Knowledge did Allah give the permission? Did Allah give? The, did Allah? Now okay. That science is can you tell to me something? True. Okay. Can you tell me something in the Quran, proving to be true? Everything. Like what? Give me. Why do I say uh, 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 one thing? Everything. I'm asking for one. Gave me one thing. Yeah, one and thing I told you from. Proving to be true. I told you from uh, the first uh, chapter to the last chapter, everything is true. Give me you one. Are, you are the one trying to tell okay. me what is wrong. I'm asking you to give me I one. You refuse. Shall I give you? One. Shall I give you one my own? Is that okay? Or uh, you so give you me one? you keep coming now with different, different. I no, because you're already in a way. You know, we ask you from the bring, beginning. Do Allah right, have bring hands? It. I told you. We ask you. Do we Allah? Go to the Quran, do Allah have? Okay. Let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. 
When Allah He create, do He use His So you hands? already failed this one. You, you no, I don't want to because you are refusing to answer. This is a lie. You are I'm not, I answer you, everything. No, I answer everything. You're, you're Allah. He claimed that He is the only one who knows what is in the womb, and you are the one who led me there. You are the one who said to me, "To me, I went to the hospital." We were talking about different things. What are you talking about? I gave you your answer. Your fans are listening no, to you. We were talking you know, about. They we get their answer. About hell, how silly the Quran to say that Allah He sent hell no. on mountains. Okay, where is and the, then where I tell is the you, mountain? Okay, let's, you let, are, let us go your back. Your argument let is us with go science. Back to zero. And science is not let reliable. Let us go back to zero. Where the, I tell you where one is thing. The mountain? Before we go back, where is the mountain? I tell you one where thing. is the mountain? If you go to a court where is to the, testify where is the a case, if you go to a court to testify a case, and then they see your record that. You've been uh, you once testify and you lied. Do you think the judge will listen to your uh, argument? No, he will doubt you. No, exactly. He will doubt you. Exactly. So that is but if science, you, but if science you, have been but if, if you, have been lying before. But aren't you, uh, but aren't you a Muslim? Account? Aren't you as a Muslim allowed to lie? A Muslim. Yeah. Don't don't just don't jump from one. Let me finish and then you jump. You are there. the one who's talking about lying, not you me. You are the one who opened the topic. Is it you. true that if your you prophet he allow you to lie to your friend, to your enemy, and to your family? Is that true? Wait, listen, listen to me. So no, no. If you what say, do you mean? You just said to me if 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 somebody discovered that you are a liar and then you go to the judge to be a witness, is the judge is going to accept you? I said no. I agree with you. The judge should not ah, accept. Good, you but you now as a Muslim, but you Tell as a Muslim, me. allowed to lie? Yes or no? In some cases, it's uh -huh. acceptable. In some cases, yeah. like what? Yeah. Like what? Like more? Uh, like like uh, is it Abraham? When he told uh, another that this is his sister, not uh -huh. his wife. Uh -huh. Yeah, he uh -huh. lied, okay. but it's accepted by Allah. Who, who, okay, why? And then now, oh, let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Example. How that is accepted example. by Allah? This is a story your prophet he took from the Old Testament, by the way. But how this is accepted by Allah? And you don't tell me he took from. And we tell you uh -huh. Islam is the is the religion from Adam. All right, we will today. go. We will go there. So nothing but listen, is listen, taken from but nothing. You're a prophet. He said a man he can't lie to his wife. Is that correct? In some cases, like what? You don't lie. Like, like what? I'm giving you an example of where you can and where you cannot. Okay, so you can. One, you can if you, lie, you let me you tell gave you, me a, you gave me a case that you can lie to others. Now give me a, a case about lying to you. I to didn't your... give. Uh, I give you which one. You told me about Abraham. You can lie to others, correct? Yeah. Okay. In some cases. Okay. And you can lie to your wife. In some cases, you can lie. And you and can lie to your friends. I just answered everything in general. So in some cases, go in okay. One by can one. you in lie to me? Some... Is it okay for you to lie to me about Islam? It depends what I want to tell you. See? I can't lie uh -huh. to you about for you to be a Muslim. Thank you. If I lie to you, if I no listen, uh -huh. if I lie to you to be a Muslim, so guys, it's a lie. The question is, is it okay to lie to me about Islam? He said, depend what I want to tell you. Did you hear it? No. Depend what if it's recorded. Listen. It is recorded. Brother. Everybody Brother. heard you. And not only that. <laughs> yes. No, about Islam. In what case? That okay, you can give me an example. I, the question is very because simple. You can't, I, my you friend, can't I don't make care what case. Everything. I, I don't care what case I asked you. Is it okay for you to lie to me about Islam? You said in the, the ben... beginning when you started about lie, I told you in some <laughs> cases. So it applies to whatever I'm telling you. Yeah. So, so you, you have to give me a case. Now, you have to give me a case. I am here to prove Islam to be false. So you are now here no, to lie to not. me. Yeah, you are not. Okay, hold You're on. You're not proving anything. Okay, well, I know I did. I just showed you reference. Everybody is laughing at you. Everybody is. The, the, no, the, the they are laughing at the you. The people are the judge. Because you don't know what you are the talking about. The people are the judge. The people are the judge, and you are no. the one who said. Yeah, they are okay, the judge. Give me an example. You, okay, hold on, hold on. I will go with you. You said to me when I said to you, "Can you? Are you? Uh, are you going? Are you allowed to lie to me about Islam?" You said, "Depend in what you asked me or you said to me." So I'm asking you, give me yeah, an example. Just ask me. Give I me, just want to hear what you want to say. Give me an example. You will lie to me about Islam. Give me an example. I don't know. What do you mean? You told me you depend. Give yeah, me an example. It depends what you bring to me. Okay. If it, I have to, in, well, in some situation, let me give you an example. Uh huh. Give if me. if if now. I have to lie to you to save my life mm. about Islam. Mm. I like to save my life and go. Oh, okay. Save your life. Yeah, that's an example. Okay. Just to save my life, I can do that. All right. If you tell me like about Islam, is okay. Islam like this? If I know, if I say yes, uh -huh. you're gonna kill me. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say no, just to save my life. Well, this, is a, this is a, this is a lie. Chapter three, verse number twenty-eight. It says, 
don't take those Christian and Jews as a friend. So they want to take you as a friend. So they are not going to kill you. A person want to take you as a friend. How in the world he want to kill you? And those are the one you can lie to them and the interpretation in front of you. So you Muslims are a bunch of liars. I can't see anything. Nobody... I tell you, I put the phone on my It's ears. in front Just of me. Chapter three, chapter three, verse number twenty-eight. It says, "Take not the Jews and the Christians as uh, as a friends, and the one who take them as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. He has no honor. He has no mercy or protection. Unless, yeah, unless, listen yeah, carefully. Yeah, unless yeah. you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking as wear security, saving yourself from them, speaking in a friendly way." toward them while your heart dislike this so you muslims we want to take you as a friend we don't want to kill you this is what the verse is saying you say to me oh no we are friends sure we are a friend yeah sure let me shake hand with you but if you are doing that and you mean it you are not a muslim no more and you mean it that's the uh, that's the main point you said exactly and i told you i can lie to you and uh -huh. save my life that means I don't but mean But I want to take you as a friend. Save your, your life from what? Save your life from what? It says take them as a friend. So they are friends. So what you say to them... In there are you situations when somebody no, wants no, to kill listen, you. We okay. know people are Islamophobe okay. how, how, that I will not okay, kill hold somebody. On, hold on. How somebody want to take you as a friend, he is your enemy. He want to kill you. Who want to take me as a friend? They are. They you are. don't know this, the, this is what the verse says. You don't know people. There are people who claim. No, uh, who no, claim no. To it says. Be your friend, it says. And the you. one. It says. And the one who take them as a friend, he is one of them, and he have no honor to Allah. He have no yeah, mercy. Which means the fact is based on this verse, the one who will kill you is the Muslims, not us, because we will what? take you as Why a friend. Why would the Muslim kill you? Yes, it's in front of you. It says that the one who take them as a friend, which means take the Christians and the Jews as a friends, he is one of them. He has no connection with Allah. He has no honor, he has no protection, he has no yeah, mercy. Then, then which he mean, shouldn't take which you as mean, a friend. Which means he doesn't mean to kill you. They they will kill you, the Muslims, not me. No, they won't. They if anybody kills you, the ayah didn't say kill them. It says if anybody it says, kills you in it this says, case, it says, that means he, he it did says, it read in carefully. His own it way, says carefully, Islam. read, read, you are a liar again. By taking the hypocrite <laughs> and disbelievers, such up. By taking the hypocrite and the disbeliever as a friends, he has no connection uh, with Allah. Shut said, up! Yeah. Shut up! Why will you take has, a hypocrite as a friend? You are a hypocrite. You are. You, okay. Do you do you approve who is a hypocrite? You. Do you do you want to prove? I it? have a proof already. Do you have a proof? Yeah, you are the hypocrite. Okay, give me an example. Because Jesus never tell you to insult uh, other religion, and you are doing it. Well, no, Jesus said to me. You are shaitan. Jesus, Jesus said to me, and we will talk about shaitan. Jesus said to me that don't be like the hypocrite who play in the pray in the corners, and those are the Muslims. Jesus says to me, we when don't you play in the shut corner. up, shut up, you play we in the corner. You, you pray, you you pray like a corner. you pray like a goat in the top of the car. You put the rug in the top of the car so everybody can see you. You are a hypocrite goat. Now let us talk about shaitan. Your, your prophet is shaitan. Did he receive satanic verses? Yes or no? Did he, did he receive what? Satanic, Satan, verses. satanic verses. Yes, you are the one who mentioned shaitan. Remember that. So, is your yeah. prophet a messenger of Allah? So, you're running away from the other one because I used the you word shaitan. You are the one who now said to me the word shaitan. So, I now I need to show you from the shaitan what is shaitan is about. According to your prophet, your mother is a shaitan. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Who's mother? Your mother. My mother? Yeah. How is she a shaitan? Well, your prophet, he says women, they come in the image of shaitan and she, they live in the image. Of shaitan. Now you're gonna you're gonna bring another hadith unknown, yeah, so what? and tell me hadith says. So so, See, the Quran so says what? That. So what? It's sahih. Is that well, my, is that my fault? How? Uh, so you are telling me when Allah created uh, Adam and He created uh, Eve, uh -huh. He made Eve in the uh, image of shaitan. I, I, this is what your prophet is saying. You tell me. While she look is similar in the are you, image are you of trying Adam, to refute you me? telling me? Are you trying to? I, I'm not training you. This is your prophet training you. So are you no, trying to refute? you brought on a hadith. Are you trying and I to tell refute? You, are you trying to refute? And I tell you, you your... always look for hadith that suits your argument. Okay. And I'm telling you, there's it's Thank not 100% hadith you that said, you can argue with. You just with. said, I look always for hadith suit my suit my, my argument. So my argument you is try, supported. I didn't say you try always to look for. My argument is supported by your prophet words. You, no. What, what is, what, you don't, you what, see, that's what the problem you of you. Against it? You, you try say? not to let people finish. No, so you can make a you point. You just said that I tell everybody you, heard you. You try to look I for hadith look that suits for you. Hadith, suit, yeah, that suit, suits suit you. My argument, my argument. 
That means you I'm the one who provides reference and you provide nothing. So now tell me, when you're a prophet, he said... Is, you, know, you see, your listeners are not dumb. When they you're a prophet, Akbar, no, like don't me. worry about the listener. They will, they will leave. Don't worry, about, listen don't worry about you the listeners. Me, don't you. worry about the listeners. They will leave comment and they will laugh. You look for argument. So now, so now, is that your prophet argument or my argument? Is it your prophet? Is it your prophet? Is it your prophet? Is it your prophet no, who said that me, or not? Let me land there. Is it I'm your prophet you, who said that or not? Argument, you is have it, hadith. Is it, that is it your prophet who said that or not? Shaitan people that make their hadith to lie about Islam. Okay. So you look for those so guys, to support So guys, argument. Sunan Ibn Dawood is a people who made hadith lying about Islam. The highest scholars of Islam, they are making hadith lying about Islam and they publish it in their Islamic website and they print it in their Islamic in, uh, books and they publish it in Islamic University lying about Islam look like all of you are a bunch of liars that's what you are saying to me no. because who, okay is it, okay that, that, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on it so, says here it says here no. Ibn Ibn Zubair, etc., etc., so all the all humans. the one all the one who mentioned this and they are all humans that are created to they make are mistakes humans. Here we go mistakes. back to human so is your prophet is human you will say yes you are, he is always human. He so never I don't care other if they human. are a human or not. Who, they are the same people who gave you the Quran. What's wrong with you? No, the, the prophet those is different are the from companion. Us. He no? came from Allah. No. Okay, so his hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, 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 hold on. You said the prophet he get it from Allah. Yeah, hundred percent. How? He get a, a message from uh, Jibril. Okay, is Jibril is Allah? Yeah. Is Jibril is Allah? Jibril get the message from Allah. If I sent a messenger right. to deliver my message, so let doesn't us, make the messenger right. me. So let us make the it clear. Let us make it clear. Allah, he, uh, Muhammad, he never spoke to Allah. He did. When? When he go to uh, Israel, what when he, he went what, out there. What happened? Tell me, what happened? What he said to him? He went to meet up with Allah and receive salat and so, bring it down. So did he see Allah? Some scholars said no, some scholars say yes, how Allah wants him to see which him. one Which one of them you, you, you believe? I believe he sees Allah. He sees Allah. I thought nobody can see so. Allah. I, I thought nobody I believe, can see Allah. Okay. If Allah wills. Okay, hold on. See, if the Hadith says something against the Quran, you said I don't accept the Hadith, but now you accept the Hadith when the Quran says nobody can see Allah. When the Quran said, I said there is hadith that you cannot trust, and there is hadith if it contradicts to Quran. Okay, can you show me the hadith which you can trust? Says Muhammad, he saw Allah. Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas says uh, the messenger told him he saw Allah. Okay, can you give me the hadith? I don't have any uh, reference. I I I never tell you what number of verse because I don't. You said I, to I'm me Ibn Abbas. To. You said Even to me, you I said know to, I read okay. it somewhere. Hold on. But what I know is I cannot tell you any verse. Why you cannot, I can tell why, you what it says, you cannot, but I cannot why tell you, cannot you tell me Why you cannot tell me? Because if you tell me the Quran, the Bible, the Hadith, I never take any number okay. to be a reference. I only read it and I understand it, and that's it. Okay. I well, never say well, because I am, I'm going to not, you. I am say, not like uh, you. This verse, verse. I am not like you. I get numbers and I get you busted. Here we go. Yeah, uh, Aisha, she you said. Know, you, Aisha, she said. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Aisha, she said. Aisha, she said. If anyone tells you that Muhammad has seen his Lord, he is a liar. Aisha says that, and Ibn Abbas is a uh, cousin or a brother. I forgot of the messenger. He also said different thing. So that's why I told you. So you cannot go hundred percent with hadith always. Quran is the main. So you are saying to me. Whatever, so you are saying that. to me that you Muslims you write false hadith about your prophet, and it's very confusing. Not us. There are people like you that will write anything okay. and say you just it belongs quote to for Muslims. me. You just quote for me Ibn Abbas, correct? I didn't quote. I tell you, he said it. I didn't okay. quote Okay, anything. you are quoting him if you say he said it. Yeah, but okay. don't say like I said any reference. I said Ibn Abbas said, I read it somewhere. I know I read it. And right. I'm telling okay. you. I will, uh, find, I will find you the hadith. Just to show you that you are ignorant, you do not know how to find things. No, you're uh, Ibn not Abbas, Ibn Abbas, Ibn no, Abbas, he did not, Ibn, Ibn Abbas, he did not say he saw him. He say he saw him in his heart. Why well, you are lying? No, no, he didn't say in his heart. Mm -hmm. Here we go. He said he saw it. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. This is the hadith maybe you are referring to. It says here, the heart build I not. Anything. I don't care if you see you're blind anyway, like all Muslims. The heart build not what he saw, Quran, etc. And certainly he saw him another descent, Al Quran, etc. Chapter 13. Can you start again, please? Okay. He, according to Ibn Abbas, he saw a lot yeah. twice, but did he see him in his heart or he see him by his eyes? You're asking me or you're reading it? I'm asking you. I said I read it. Ibn Abbas said the Prophet saw Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. saw Allah. Okay. I'm asking, That's what I okay, I'm, ask, I'm asking you. Did he see him by his eyes or by his heart? I don't see. I don't know if heart has uh, eyes. I know well, if I say I see you, okay. it means I see you. All right. I don't see. I, I don't know how person will see somebody with his heart. Exactly. So maybe your translation is wrong. Exactly. Let us see. You, you, will, you will change your mind in two seconds. <laughs> I'm not changing. I'm telling you. Chapter 53. It. Chapter, it says, chapter 53. Chapter Quran, 53, verse number 11. He says, His Quran, heart. Yeah. Chapter 53. In Quran. In Quran chapter 53, yeah, verse say number it. 11. It says, yeah. His heart lies not of what he saw. Okay, which so means he know. saw him yeah, by his yeah. heart. You said to me, I don't understand how somebody can see by his heart. You just said yeah, that. Now you said the Quran. I told you I don't argue with Quran. But if a second say, ago, a I second ago, you said no, he did not see him by his no, heart. How somebody can see I, him by I, his heart? I always told you. You just said. You just said. You just said. Okay, you admit you got busted. You just said. I don't know. I don't know how somebody can see. Okay, a second ago, a second ago, your logic was. I don't know how somebody can see by his heart. Did you say that? Yeah, so okay. you said the Quran so says that's, a prophet, that's what Allah How you're a prophet, best. he saw Allah by his heart. If that's not how it is, I don't have that knowledge. Okay, do you Muslim see by heart or you see him by eyes? So you are just trying to go back what I told you. I have no, knowledge you how to see with Ibn heart. Abbas. I told you what Ibn Abbas is speaking about. You are ignorant like the rest of you. So the Quran no, says, the Muhammad, one. he saw him in his heart. Hold no, on, no. and look at what happened now. Do you know even Muhammad talking about what? The, the, the hadith you saw to me is not about seeing Allah. It's about seeing Jibreel, supposedly according to Muslims. But in fact, the no, Quran, no. hold on. No. I agree with you. No. It's about seeing Allah. Agree, agree. Look what happened. Because the chapter 53. He saw Jibreel many uh, times. Jibreel okay, okay, down. hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. With the but, Sahaba, okay, I'm, I'm going with you. I'm Why going are you talking with you. about I am going, going with you. Jibreel? I'm going with you. But look what happened. According to chapter 53, if the one who came down is Jibreel, that's mean Allah is Jibreel and he is the God of Muhammad. Because the chapter yeah. saying, okay, the chapter says that he, he, you are the one who said that Muhammad, you don't speak from his own, right? I'm not the one. And this is the hadith. Quran says and this and is hadith the hadith. Says, yes, the, I'm the one. This is the, I don't have a shut up. The verse, chapter 53, verse number three says, nor does he speak of his own desire. And this is what you quote for me. It is only an inspiration. Never, yeah, it's only an inspiration. Desire. It's only inspiration from coming from what? From above. He he been he been taught by the Almighty, all power. What is his name? The Almighty. Are you talking or are you talking to me? I'm talking you're talking, to you. read what you, you're reading. Don't ask the me. The Quran, chapter 53, verse number five, says he's been taught by the mighty. The more yeah. the more the most mighty. Who is the most mighty? Is that God? He's been taught. Everybody can be mighty. Even a judge is a mighty no. in his court. Who is the one who taught Muhammad the Quran and gave the inspiration of the Quran? If I, uh, if Allah sent a Jibril to teach him something, Jibril taught him. But ultimate teaching is from Allah. Okay. So Allah taught Jibril to teach him. Okay. So it So this mean, is Jibril. Let us uh, confirm. Okay. Let's confirm. This is Jibril. And then it says, I'm not confirming anything here. Yes. What's wrong what with I'm the Muslims? They can is, confirm nothing. The Muslims look, can confirm no, nothing. Because you are try, you're trying to get uh, something out of nothing. So how you are say saying, you okay, how you explain to me this? You okay, is, listen, listen. In my I house, want you to open for me. Listen, my wife and my kids open are for there. me I chapter 53. I make the decision. Stop talking. Open chapter 53 and, and explain the chapter. I can't open 
anything. I don't have it. I'm, I'm not uh, well, stop where saying you expect I don't me have to. it. Open it. You, know, you, you do not need to open I'm YouTube. Only with the phone. Open with the chapter. So what? I can open my phone. <laughs> read it. Too. I gave you the chance to read it. Why so you worry? You can answer me if you will not. If you refuse to read it, I want to know who is the one who came down from the sky. Is that Jibreel or this is Allah? Why will Allah come? Allah is too much for that to come down to prophet. Allah don't no. come down. It doesn't. It doesn't make. It doesn't benefit. Uh, it doesn't befit His Majesty to come okay. down to a messenger. Come so, down. So, no. But Allah never was in the earth. I don't know. What do you mean? You just said it doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. It doesn't be, uh, befit His Majesty to come down to a messenger. If He has a messenger, He sent or He can talk to a messenger. Okay. How will Allah come down? Did Allah ever come down to the earth? I just told you I don't know. You just I said, I you said doesn't fit. So what do you know? Why you are calling me? Drama. Each time I ask you a question, you said, I don't know. But not each time. I answer you a million times. I you did not tell answer you anything. I, said, I don't know you how did not you answer anything. Let us go back to zero. When Allah, he speak, he speak from his mouth. When Allah, he speak from his mouth. When Allah, he speak, speak from his mouth. You said, I don't know. When Allah, he made, he created no, Adam by his hand. I you, told you, however he chooses to speak, he speaks. But this is not an answer. What, what do you mean, however he chooses? So maybe like maybe he speaks from his bond. I'm asking you, no, Allah. I never say, okay, hold I on. Allah never say, I have no mouth. That's what I told you. No nose, mouth, eyes, and everything to see, to know, uh, to breathe, to whatever. I just told you, if he says he speaks, we take it as he speaks. Because we never see his image to know how he speaks. But in any way, okay, you never saw uh, the image of Allah. I never see it. How can I see it? I thought Muhammad saw Allah. You told me a second ago. Yeah, if he if he sees it, he sees him. So how come Which he did not tell you how he looked like? Uh, you, see, you, see how, you see how you see how you see how awkward how stupid your statement you are the no, one who were arguing with, with me he, that Ibn Abbas said shut you, up you, you, you said to, to me somebody. you said to no, me Ibn Abbas I'm said so that Allah so Prophet he saw Allah so, so why what Allah Prophet did not describe how Allah looked like listen Ibn Abbas you said to me he saw Allah twice you said that to me Ibn Abbas this year Allah don't lie stop lying I didn't say Ibn Abbas sees Allah it's recorded. You just say I said Ibn Abbas is Allah. I didn't say Ibn Abbas is yeah, Allah. Yeah, you said it's recorded. I said Ibn Abbas said the messenger of Allah sees Allah. Yeah, the so messenger of Allah sees Allah. 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 Exactly. I'm talking about Muhammad. No, no, Ibn Abbas didn't see Allah. Not Ibn Based Abbas, you donkey. Messenger. You stupid idiot. I'm not talking about Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas yeah, is the one who said now, Ibn now Abbas. It, it stupid. Name, you you yeah? are playing donkey now. That's listen. Ibn you Abbas, Ibn Abbas, he said, listen, listen, potato. Okay, so Ibn Abbas, he said, shut up. Ibn Abbas, he, Ibn Abbas, he said that the prophet, he saw Allah. So how how come Muhammad, he saw Allah and never described how Allah looked like? Go ahead. He doesn't have to describe it. Why he did not describe him? He doesn't have obligation to describe Allah. How? No, what? he can tell what? you I see Allah. Why he cannot if describe he Allah if he saw Allah? The, uh, we know uh, uh, Mo Musa wanted to see Allah, and Allah just showed his uh, a light on the mountain, and the mountain crumbled, and Mo Musa fell unconscious. You are the one who said to me, the prophet, he saw Allah. Don't forget, I'm not uh, the one who said that. It's you who said, the prophet, he saw Allah. So how you claim that Muhammad cannot describe how Allah looked like? You see how you are making uh, words inside people's mouth. Okay. So, I said I believe uh -huh. because I read even Abbas said the messenger saw Allah. Mm -hmm. So I believe he saw him. I'm not claiming like 100% like you quote uh, Aisha said he didn't see him. Aisha said that even Abbas said whatever. So I I choose to believe what Ibn Abbas said. Okay. So don't when, tell when, me like when I'm Muhammad he saw statement. Allah. Are you assuming you Muslims that he saw a shape? He said who? When Muhammad he saw Allah, did he see a shape? Shape, physical shape. What is a shape? Uh, a shape. You don't know what shape? Shape like a. There's there's two sheep. There's sheep on the uh, water and there's sheep as an animal. Shape, you shape, 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 not sheep. Shape, shape like uh, S H A P. Yeah. Yeah. If he saw an image, like you say, he saw with his heart. However, Allah chose to let him see him. Uh -huh. He does, mm -hmm. and that's Allah. Like it so says, if we he, see the prophet did in he a see dream, a shape? It's a prophet. This is the question. Did he see a physical shape? Yes or no? If he see a physical uh, shape, uh -huh. that's how he saw it. Because okay. he never so say how he saw do you it. Agree, so we cannot do you assume. agree that Allah is a physical then? No, you are, you see, you are just trying to make a claim out of nothing. I didn't say that. 
I'm just telling you, however Allah made him see him, okay. that's how he wants him to see him. All so right. don't tell me it's a shape or whatever. However he saw him, okay. in, the prophet never said, I saw this image or shape or whatever. Okay. He said, this is how you are. Uh -huh. If Allah shows you how you are, that's how he wants you to see him. So uh -huh. that's how you saw him. Okay. Unless you say, I saw him in this image or this shape, then mm -hmm. we can talk about that. Okay. If he never say any image or shape, fine. Uh, but did the, okay, did your prophet say that Allah will come to you in a shape? In a shape? Yeah. I don't know the hadith. You do not know? Which hadith? There's millions of hadith. There's millions of hadith. So heaps, heaps not true. Heaps are true. Uh -huh. So you cannot tell me if you see anything. That's why I just told you. Uh -huh. You look for hadith, the lie ones, and then you try to make argument out of that. That's so, how it works. So, so what we got you from just, you, you so, so, so what we got from you, that all the hadith in the Sahih books... Not are, all the hadith, don't say all. If you want to say, say well, some, okay. because I gave you no, two, I'm asking two you, ways. I say I'm some asking are you, good, I'm some asking are you. Bad. You say some. Is Al-Bukhari from the some? If, if you have any hadith from Buhari yeah. that contradicts the Quran, uh -huh. leave it. You stupid! You are the one who said to me that the prophet he said. <laughs> you see how stupid you, you are. Stupid, you, you, you said. You, you said. You, you said. It is you who said that the prophet he saw Allah twice. How that can be a contradiction to you? At I least. didn't say it twice. You recorded everything. You I said Ibn it Abbas. You said, said Ibn Abbas. Him. Ibn Abbas. He I said saw, the prophet. I only talk about seeing you said, him. I said. I, I asked believe. you. Did the prophet Some he see? He said Ibn Abbas. Okay. Listen. So. So now. So now. So now. Did the Muslim see Allah before? Who did the Muslims see Allah before? Muslims, uh -huh. I never see a Quran or any hadith Sahih that says the Muslims see Allah. Oh. I never see that. I, so what, what, what if what if I show Allah? you what you will do? If you show me what the Quran, what if, hadith, I, show you, what if I show you a hadith? Yeah, he's gonna see hadith. Which hadith? Let's see. Uh, here we go. Which hadith? So tell me one thing. Hold on, I will tell you I something. Here we go. This is the hadith. This is the hadith in the front of us. You're a prophet. He says that Allah He changed His look, He changed His shape, and He come to the Muslims in the image other than the image they saw Him first time. Did your prophet lie when he said that? You see how stupid you are, right? Who is the stupid? You tell me. Are, are, you, are you saying that to Prophet Muhammad? You just look for another hadith that tell you. You mean Allah is coming like a uh, human. You think Allah is Jesus? That you make Jesus coming to the, uh, well, to earth? And for sure Allah don't like more. Jesus. For sure. Jesus, I'm sure he looked good. Muhammad, you know, Allah looked like a monkey maybe. No. So Allah listen. is not Jesus. So listen, Muslims listen, listen. So listen, uh, each time, each time, no. each time I show you, others, each time you I give you, okay, I, each time I give you a reference of what your prophet said, what do you do? You spit at I it. told you. You spit I at told it. you. You, you, you I, I, you if I recall, you, you spit, you, 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 spit, you, spit you spit on it. Each time I give you a hadith Listen. from your no. prophet, what do you do? No, I told you, if I recall, you said uh, the Quran says nobody sees Allah. Did you say that or um, uh, did I listen to it some in one of your videos or whatever? Did you say that the Quran says nobody sees Allah? The Quran says nobody see Allah. The Quran says, yeah, Did you nobody say can, that? Yes, nobody can see Allah according to the Quran. Okay. And I told you, if you don't forget, it's recorded. I told you any hadith that contradicts Quran, leave the hadith. Exactly. But I showed you a verse. So but I showed you, but I showed you a verse in the Quran. But I showed you a verse in the Quran. It says that Muhammad, he saw Allah twice by his heart. By his heart, yeah. so fine. What is wrong with that? But you just said to me, the Quran said, nobody can see Allah. Rasul is not like us. He is the messenger of Allah. So when when he is, when Allah he is the one, he okay, is the hold one on. Over he is a messenger of following. Allah. But you are the one who said to me that even Moses could not see him. Was he a Rasul too or not? Yeah, because Musa because Moses is not to, uh, to the level of Prophet Muhammad if, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If, 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 I'm not you. I never say if. I said he because is not Musa in is the not level. up to that level. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. Not, let, not let that us, level. Let Musa go, didn't reach there. Okay, let us go to the let, let us go to the level of Muhammad. Muhammad that, in, that, Muhammad in his, Muhammad the, in uh, his level. Rahma, Rahma Muhammad in Arabi. his level. You see what he is the Rahma to all all creation, heaven and earth and everything that is in it. Who? 
He is the Rahama. He is the uh, source of everything. Who? So he is not like Musa, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Muhammad. He, he, his Muhammad is the source of all what? Everything. Everything. He is Rahmatul lil alamina. What does that mean? Explain to me. I don't speak Arabic. He is the. Uh, you don't speak Arabic. No, oh. you do. Your, your, your listeners need to listen to that. No, Muslim, they say to is, uh, Muslims, there's tons is, of video. Yeah. There's tons of Muslim video. They say sent, Christian pointers speak Arabic. The, so I'm asking you now, tell sent, me, what, what do you mean that Muhammad is you, the listen, source of mercy? Go ahead. I'm telling you, uh -huh. first of all, he was sent, the Quran said he was sent. He was not sent except as a mercy to, uh -huh. uh, to the world. Uh -huh. So you can see everything that every prophet brought and everything. He's a, he's the seal of them, and he confirms everything. And oh. he's a blessing that we believe in him, he that we know we are on the right path. We know Allah, not oh. like you, the lost one, that you sit there saying the Allah was in the womb. He was born oh. naked. He shit in his body. A woman fed him, gave him breast, and that is God, the create the creator. Mm. He created his mother, and then ended up in her womb. Mm. You see how stupid you are. Okay, I will, go, mercy, I will go with you. I will go with you. Mercy, I will go with you. Who is the one who, who, is the one who created the who is the one who created Mary according to Islam? Allah. How Allah he put his mouth in Mary's vagina. He didn't put his mouth. So what he put? He just blew his uh, spirit in her. Did you just if say if I say blue, did, it doesn't it did doesn't you just happen. say he blew his spirit in her vagina? It's a, not in the vagina. You said there. I said vagina. Her. You said there. I didn't use vagina. So what he what, what he, he in so, her. So he breathed where? It's no in the Quran. It says farja. You said you go by the Quran. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What you? Are, he said yeah. If he said vagina, he says that. But I'm asking you. Why will? Uh, okay. Why if you, if I say I blow something in? Uh, the doctors are blowing a lot of things in people's body. Do they put their mouth there? So Allah, okay. So the the breed of Allah. You see how was, stupid you are. Let us see who is stupid. So you just you said, are you, you just say, you just say, you just say, you just say that the one. I'm not the one who said the word vagina. You don't hear. You so, no. You said it. You're stupid because you just say Allah put His mouth in the. Uh, the Quran didn't say Allah put His mouth, but you said that you are putting. That's how Christians do. Okay. Put words did he in the Bible. did he say? To put did your Allah word in, the in the Quran say he breathed into her vagina? Yes or no? If he says that he blew, he breathed or blew or whatever, uh -huh. that's how he puts the air or whatever it is in her, okay. the spirit that he wants to create uh, Jesus in there. Okay. That's how it is. Okay. But it doesn't so mean Allah, you always put it. So if you say okay. breathe, okay. Okay. why didn't okay. you say okay. Guys, he brewed his Allah, nose? Allah, he blew. Why didn't you put his, Allah, uh, why didn't he you blew. say his nose? Allah, he blew his spirit in Mary vagina. Is the spirit of Allah is like Allah or it is dirty look how stupid you are I'm asking a question don't avoid it you just said Allah he blow from his spirit into her vagina yeah. wonderful is Allah spirit dirty or clean and holy Allah doesn't have anything dirty so the spirit which is coming from Allah which is supposed to Jesus is holy it is Okay, so how that's a holy, God. you see, you just contradict yourself. You said, no, how a holy person, body. shut up. You Even said, the how, angels, holy, angels how the holy God, shut Allah. up, shut up. You said, how the holy <laughs> God can be inside the womb. Now we find out nah, that the holy, you, if, the if holy I, spirit, spirit, you just say it that does, you just Allah. say the spirit, is spirit, the spirit of, doesn't matter. You said the spirit, I asked you, the spirit was coming from Allah. Is it dirty or holy? You said it's holy. So now the spirit, which is Jesus, is coming as holy, go inside the women vagina. But you are the one who said to me, how God who is holy, he create a womb and then he is inside the womb. And now we find out so, that the spirit of so your God. Good. You the, see, you are stupid. Yeah? The spirit of your, your, your God. The spirit, of, the spirit of I'm your God you, is coming. Allah put his spirit Abdul, in Abdul, there. Abdul, it doesn't make Allah Abdul, in there. Abdul. Allah doesn't become the spirit in there. I don't it's care. Allah, I don't care. Spirit. The spirit is coming the from. Spirit, okay. The spirit is coming from. Allah can just create another the spirit, spirit is now. coming from inside doesn't Allah. Make that spirit is the spirit is the spirit coming from inside Allah? Why is it inside of Allah? Allah created spirits, different um, no, one, the one it he says, wants. No, it says it we blew. It says you are the one who said one of Akhna, we blew. So he blew. He blew from where? From how he blew it. I'm not asking how he blew it. He blew from where? 
from his presence. What the presence? He blew from where? You see, you are stupid. He's telling you. Uh, friend, I'm, I'm let us say for the sake of argument, I am me. what you are saying. You are the smart. Explain to me. Allah, he blew spirit. He blew it from where? That's what I'm telling you. Allah can create millions of different spirits. This is not the question. He just... Allah, he blew from you. his spirit. He blew from his spirit. From Ruhana. Not a spirit he created. It says Ruhana, our spirit. Does it say in the Quran our spirit? Uh, our spirit. It doesn't. It doesn't mean it's him. The spirit. Our spirit. Part uh -huh. of his spirit. So, so how our, many he has? Our spirit doesn't it, mean doesn't mean that this is his spirit. So Allah, when He say our spirit, He don't mean it is His spirit. Ah, uh, you are very stupid. Me, this one. If I say this is mine, doesn't mean that thing is me. No, when you it's say mine. when you say so my spirit, is spirit when you say my spirit, you mean it's not your spirit? It's my spirit, like something I possess, <laughs> but not part of me. It doesn't mean I, my flesh. So I'm asking you, I'm, I'm not whatever. talking about flesh now. Stop, stop being stupid. When you say my yeah, spirit, to when, say, you say, to when, say you say, spirit when like, you say, when like you say, you, 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 listen, listen, when you say my spirit, do you mean to say, it is my spirit or you are lying. It's not your spirit. What do you mean? My, I don't you, have you, a spirit you, you, like... you, 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 you say yeah. my spirit. When you say the word my spirit, are you talking about your spirit about, or talking about something else? I'm human. If I say my spirit, so it's how different. You know Allah, he don't mean, is, how you know that Allah, he don't mean that this is his spirit when he said our spirit? You see, if you want to you say, see, you see, you see how stupid. Did Allah, did Allah, did Allah, Allah, okay, did Allah shut up, tell shut up. you he's made? Did Allah, how he's did Allah made say, and then he has a spirit? Did, did, did Allah he say this is a spirit? Allah is not created, brother. Abdul, no, he's no, Allah isn't a created. Is is, is a fiction. I agree. It's just a. He is Allah. He is Allah, the Creator. He creates everything. Okay, who is the so one who said to you? Hold on, 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 hold on. You said that Jesus is a man, and now you say he is Allah. Is Allah is a male or a female? Who said who said uh, Jesus is Allah? I'm saying you 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 said Allah is not a man like Jesus. Jesus is a man born okay. by a woman. So I'm asking you now: Is Allah? Is, what is the gender he, of Allah? What is the fed. what is the gender of Allah? Allah does I don't know. He doesn't have any gender. He is human. You just uh, said he. You Allah. just said to me he. He's, he's, why he you keep Allah. saying why you keep saying he if he is not having a gender? Ah, uh, you see, you see how stupid you are. Uh, why you that's say why you say talk. why you say he look that's how we people talk we can use any for uh, whatever it is we can use a figure that uh, makes it like a human uh, okay. like human feet okay and let me tell you why an allah like, why allah cannot have a son why will he have a son i'm asking you why allah cannot have a son why allah why allah cannot have a son i'm trying to prove to you the gender of allah allah is a male he have a penis no. Nah. Okay. The Quran why says. He, the Quran not, says. The Quran says Allah cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Is that true? He didn't say he has a girlfriend. What no, it says, says unless, in, in unless, unless, unless. He said. Yeah. He said, how I can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? If I don't have a, if without a woman, that's what you are uh, the one talking with science and everything. So if I. Uh, Anybody cannot be your son if it's not your blood biologically. It's not your son. Exactly. You claim, exactly. So Jesus is the son of who? Claim. Jesus is the son of who? Biologically. Son, son of Mary, like the Quran says. No, you say it. You just say to me. In order to have a son in a biological way, you have to have a father. The Quran, the Quran says, "Wadu'uhum bi asma'i abaihim." Every person he have to have a father. Chapter 25, yeah, verse I'm number 52. Not, shut, up, sure, shut up. Shut sure up. So, Jesus hold on. So, now I'm asking you, asking you, why the Quran, parents. why Allah, he, he says, why Jesus Allah, no, he cannot, no, he cannot, he why Allah, he said, why Allah, he said, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? Why he said that? Did, did the Quran say girlfriend? Yes. He said girlfriend. It says girlfriend. Did, did this. You are stupid, hundred percent. Okay, here we go. This is the verse in the front of you, and this is the Arabic Sahiba. What did the translation say? I can't see. I don't care for translation. It's in the front of you. It says So now you want to change it? You always go with the translation. Okay. Do you go by the trans? Do you go by the translation? Do you go by translation? You just said you always go with the translation. Do you go by the? Do you go by the translation? Do you accept the translation? 
Yeah, just show me the translation. All right. What if the translation says girlfriend? What you would do? Huh? Huh? If the translation if says the, girlfriend, what you would do? If the translation says girlfriend, just uh -huh. show me first. Yeah. This translation here says concert. It says what? Concert. Girlfriend. Concert. Yeah. What is concert? Concert girlfriend. is another thing. Girlfriend. I don't know the word concert. The concert is another thing that like audience okay. watch. What about we go? So uh, you now if I show you it, a translation. You see, you're trying to find a million translation that was going exactly. Tell you There's a million you translation, but for me, I speak yeah, Arabic. But, I speak yeah, Arabic. But, I speak but, Arabic. But okay. Then the what is what if we go? Okay. What if we? What if we go to Google Translation? We copy the word or we go to the dictionary. Do you accept dictionary? No. Look, this argument is just wasting time. Do you accept time. dictionary? Go, do, you accept the, the, do you woman. accept a dictionary? Just go with, uh, do you accept you dictionary? Listen, do you accept dictionary? Yes, Shut I know. Up and go to I the can one show you. Allah. I can How show can you. It says sahiba. Tell me what sahiba mean. I'm not. An, I told you. You don't. You 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 are forgetting. I told you. I'm not. Okay. An call your call Arab. your sheikh right now and get me busted. Go ahead. I don't call anybody. I'm not running away. So you. Just, are, I'm telling so, you. So you don't. Just, just, so you don't accept translation. You, away. you don't accept translation. You, so now listen. Let, look you, what focus. happened. If your God is not a male, why he said? Why he said? If I don't have a girlfriend, how I can have a son? So if because, he is a, if he is not he has, if if he don't have a listen, gender if he is not a gender he is a, is a god without gender he will not say such a statement he need he did not say that you see if Allah is a female he, he, she will say how I can have a son if I don't have a boyfriend but what your God said man, how I can have a son. Father. Huh? Because you are stupid. Because Jesus has a mother, you try to find a father to him. No, and then you stupid. No, you stupid. So we, are not, you, we are not. Trying trying to find the, he, we are not trying to find. We are not trying to find the father. Have a son let, if he let, have let, a let me show you how stupid you are. Actually, this verse hey, approving. Shut up. Marriage. This verse approved that Muhammad is a fraud. Yeah. Why? Because, because if because Jesus you came Muslims, from a shut up. Let me talk. Let me talk. We can talk at the same time. Don't you Muslim believe? Don't you Muslim believe? Hold on. Don't you Muslim believe that Mary is a virgin? You stupid. So what do you mean you yeah, are looking for a father? So what do you mean you are looking for a father? So the Christian believe Mary is a virgin. The Muslim believe because. Mary is a virgin. So why we are going to look for a father if we knew that Jesus is born of a virgin Mary? So you are stupid again. But now I'm asking because you, why are you, why you, the son of God? Why are you, you are God? stupid? Yes. Because we who know is, his father. Is, That's why Muslims talk. We Jesus is said, coming we said Jesus where, doesn't have a father. Where Jesus, we always call him where son Jesus of Mary. is coming from. And you said he's a son of God. Yes. You said he's where God he, himself. No, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Is, does the Quran say you that say Jesus... You stupid. You see how stupid listen, listen, you are. Listen, 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 listen. Hold on. D did you just say... Your people that, are laughing at you now. Okay. Did, did the Christian believe that Jesus is son of God or he is Allah? Like you, I hear one of your videos. You said he is God because he created. I'm asking you. you. I'm God. asking you. Do, do you, do, do according to I, you. Do you believe the I Christian? Do you, you. What do you know? Who the, who the Christian? Is, no, this is not. Is I'm, I'm not asking creation. you this. I'm asking you, according to your Islam, the Christian believe that Jesus is Allah or he is the Son of Allah. You have millions of Christians believing. This is not things. the question. Do you Muslim? That is the question. Do, I'm no, I'm you. asking a question. Answer. No, do I'm you Muslim you accept? Question. Do you accept Jesus? Do you accept that the Muslim Quran teach that Jesus is the Son of Allah according to the Christian or he is Allah? You call him sons, others call him. This God. is not the question. This is not the question. I'm asking you. That's the question. According because to your religion, is, according to your religion, you stupid Abdul. Don't force me to hang up on you. You are acting like a kid. According to your religion, when the Quran teaches you about Christianity, does the Quran teach you that the Christian they say that Jesus is son of God or they say that he is Allah? You said it's one of three. This this is what he said. He don't say that he is Allah. No, you, you you always say Trinity. Then you. This is another question. This is another question. That's according question to you, according you to you, Quran. According. You ask one plus slow, one, and slow. you ask one plus one. Listen, but potato. Listen, according to your Quran. You see, stupid. Now you can entertain according your people. To, according if to you your Quran, getting, uh, you potato. You are a potato. You, are, you have no shape. You, whatever I show you, you deny when it's in the screen. I show you girlfriend, you say it doesn't say that. I show you concert, no, it, you it doesn't say that. Me, you didn't show me girlfriend. 
You show me your concert. I don't know. I, I, I didn't hear any concert. Concert is something that people ask. It's, uh, I don't know what you are talking about. Concert, so, concert. Shall, we go, shall we go with dictionary? Now you are, you are running back to that word. Leaving how many... Uh, no, I'm asking question. you. I'm asking you. Shall we go we to dictionary? We about Jesus in the Bible. And I'm telling you... So, well, don't tell me now. Don't, don't change that. You see, says, let, us, let us stop here. Okay? Do you accept... Do you accept... The interpretation. Why? Do you so accept the interpretation for the Quran? Do you accept the interpretation for the Quran? Interpretation for the Quran. Yeah. It, yeah. Okay. If it's the right. Can, uh, can we right go? Answer. Can we go and read the interpretation for the Quran for this verse? For what? For this verse about what? Allah cannot have a son. Allah, what verse? Allah, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Oh my God! Why are you getting? Uh, out of uh, context, what we're talking about. This is what we're talking That's about. Where I just told you, ignore this girlfriend, woman, or whatever. Just main topic is, okay. how can Allah have a, a son okay. without a woman? Okay, so, so we know. So you are saying to me, so you are saying to me, okay, okay, I'm female. going with you. So you just said, how Allah can have a son without a woman? Wonderful. So your God is not the Almighty God because how Mary can have a son without a man? So Mary God, He can give Mary a son without a man, but Allah cannot even give Himself a son without a woman. Thank you very much. Okay. Listen now, then I'm, I'm going to answer this one. <laughs> Mary. Allah shows you a smite because you people are confused to see a woman having a baby without interception of a man. So he tells you he created what he wills, how he wills. So he created Jesus without a, a father to make you believe he can do what, the impossible. That's what he did with Jesus. He created Jesus out of right. male intervention. Okay, look, look what you just said. You just said, you just said, you just said, we are if confused. We, like we are confused. Listen, listen, listen. Allah you wanted us to believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah, he wanted us to believe. No, because, because later he will deny. Just stop for a second. Stop for a second. Just for a second. A comment, just a comment, a comment. A comment. I will let you finish. I will let you finish. No, 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 no. So we are confused. We are confused. According to you, we are confused. We are confused. Why? Because Allah, he made Mary have a son without a father. Father. You just said that. Why? Because you want us to believe. So your God Allah is a stupid. He do not know the future. He made us believe that Jesus is the son of God, but he wanted to us to believe that Jesus is just a son of Mary. Why? He made her have a son without a father. So your God, he cannot be God, because if Allah, he wanted us to believe in Jesus as a prophet, why? Uh, you the, are the and you are the one who said, you are the, most you are the one who said, we are confused. Here. Why we you are confused? How, Why we you are see confused? the smart people that are listening to you. Who is behind no, you the stupid. confusion? Allah. Allah, I'm just telling Mary. you how clear so, the sign okay, is. So now, so now, okay. so, so, so now can Allah, can Allah have a son? Adam. Can, as a human can that Allah have blood have a son? and flesh can Allah without have a son? male or female. Question, can Allah, have, can Allah have a son? Adam doesn't have... Can Allah have a son? I'm just telling you the same thing. Can Allah have a son? Allah made... Allah had, uh, created Adam how he created, with, uh, how, how without he, father, how he created Adam. without mother. How he created Adam. How he, how he created him. Yeah. We know he created. That's the word creation. How, how? he does that, nobody was there to witness. But he told how, us how, he created. How, how Adam. Allah created Adam? Am I a magician? I, was I born then? Who was there to witness? The Quran did he not tell you. The Quran. The, the, Quran the Quran did not tell you how Allah created Adam. That he said Allah created Adam. How he, he, did, not, he did not tell you how Allah created the, Adam? He did not tell you. Doesn't matter, he created Adam. I'm asking That's you, that. did Allah tell you in the That's Quran the how he created Adam? We are coming to Jesus, and you see, you never I'm asking you, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, if does the Quran, see, does the Quran you tell you, me. does the Quran, if you do not know, if you do not know, just say that you are ignorant, I will help you. Does the Quran, does the Quran, does the Quran say how Allah created Adam? Don't does, worry about that. We'll no, I am worried. I'm worried. We are talking about the Quran. Do, does the Quran say no, to you right how now, Allah created Adam? Jesus. You no, said, you, you said Allah created Adam. Okay, hold on. So the, Allah, one. he created Adam. You how Allah one. created Adam? Cut me and said I'm arguing. How you Allah, asked, how Allah how created Allah Adam? Allah how Allah Jesus created Jesus Adam? Jesus Adam. Without having a father. I will said, not let you continue until you tell me how Allah created Adam. I will, I will stop. Here we go. Question you ask me. Write this one down when I'm finished. How Allah created Adam? 
look, I'm not stupid for you to manipulate how you want how it. How Allah you created think, Adam? You are the one who, you, you are the one who asked, opened this topic. I'm asking you. How Allah you created me. Adam? How Allah created you, Adam? You just asked me, how can Allah have Jesus and then confuse people that it's not his son? And says it's the son of Mary. I'm answering that one. I'm not the one who said that to you, you stupid. You said to me, uh, you said to me, you said to me, you said to me that Allah created Jesus without a father. You and you are confused. You are the one who said that to me. Allah He created Jesus without a father. And you are confused. Okay, who is the one who made us confused? Allah. How he made us confused, he made us wonder. How Jesus don't have a father and now you are saying to me This is how stupid the Muslims are that Adam Allah created him without a father you stupid mental Adam is not born of a woman is he how he will have a father anyway Created uh -huh. and look at this. Okay, did Allah created did Allah created Adam the same as Jesus? How he does that is different. Adam is the first creation. Uh -huh. So how he created Adam is different from Jesus. Jesus came through Mary that okay. Mary has to eat before he survives. Okay. If not, so he's gonna let die. Me, let me make it clear. So you, you are saying to me, please, 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 please. So you just said that Adam created differently from Jesus, correct? We are not created because Adam didn't go through the womb, the process of nine months. Okay. Adam but are you are you saying just, just to make it clear? Jesus is a created different from the way Adam was a created, correct? In the sense that Jesus came through a woman, Adam didn't. Uh, this is not a question. Did Jesus was created? Was he was he created the same as Adam? I don't care. Was he created? Was he created the same as Adam? Yes or no? Not the same because Jesus through Mary, Adam not. Thank you. So why the stupid Quran says that he was created the same? Because they are human, they all end up having a second a, ago. You said they are not the same creation. A second ago, not the process. A second but ago, I ask you, is Jesus and Adam created in the same way? You said no, no. I repeated the question three times, and here we go. This is the Quran, chapter 3, chapter 3, verse number 59 says. Surely no, the no, likeness no. of Asa is Allah is the likeness of Adam. He created yeah. him from dust and he said to him, Be and he was. And you are the one yes. says to me, No, because Adam was created from dust, but Jesus was created by the womb. You are a stupid like a prophet, and everybody no, is looking you see at how you. Stupid Shut you are. up and just get lost. I left my five fingers marked in your bum for the coming century. I mean, like a monkey jumping from a place to place to place. How long they love to lie. And we repeat the question once after once after. I lost my voice. My voice is hurting me. Is Jesus created the same way as Adam? Yes or no? No, no, because Jesus was in the womb. Adam was not. He is from the dirt. He made him from mud. The Quran says in chapter 3, verse 59, that both of them are created from dust. And this is how stupid Allah is, because Jesus was not, as he said, he was right. Jesus was not created from dust. How stupid Allah is. And you are the one who gave a big finger to Allah. Thank you very much. I encourage everybody to download this video and share it everywhere. Let everybody laugh at this stupid religion. This is a religion. If this is a religion, what is a stupidity? What is stupidity? No, it doesn't say sahiba. It doesn't say girlfriend. I don't know what that word means. For me, I don't care for translation. All of you Muslim, you lie. And you are you are the one who keeps saying to me, there is tons of lies in the hadith, which means you Muslim, you lie. And I ask you, is it okay for you Muslims to lie to me about Islam? You said, depend. Depend. And from the first second you call me, until the last second, you are lying. Why I want to even stay with you? We wipe the floor with you and your prophet. And now I challenge you to download this video as it is and put it in your channel if you are a man. And I challenge you to download this video, all of you Muslims, and put it in Islamic channel if you are men. If you think your brother was able to save Muhammad 
from the spank, non-stop spanking, I dare you to, the, to download all my videos. The stupidity of this religion is beyond imagination. When Allah created Adam, he created him from dust. <coughs> but the dust Allah, he left, he made it a mud, and he left it in the yard for 40 years. And then after 40 years, uh, we forgot to mention that first he used his hands, and he made the uh, statues, and then the statues looked like Adam, from mud and he left it for four years 40 years and then he breathed into him they never said the word be what is be what does be mean neither jesus neither adam according to the quran was created by being as you see because even jesus we read the verse already allah he blew into mary he did not say be jesus he was he blew in mary private part filthy god Did we have a good time? <coughs> you have a customer for me after one hour? One hour? My voice is tired already. It's almost 12. He will bring a customer after one hour from now or an hour ago he said that he said an hour ago well, if you have the customer, let him text me. I will take him for a snack for, you know, before we leave. Who is next? And the funny is, each time we show them a hadith from their prophet, it says authentic. They say, hey, who said it's authentic? Those are website, okay? Those are website, okay? CP, it doesn't say that, CP. Everybody knows, and look look how they refute us, man. How fast. So how easy? We show them what their religion saying, what their books saying, what their prophet saying, and how they get it, how, how they get away from it. Uh, this hadith, you know, any hadith contradict the Quran, I don't accept, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, as you see, the Quran contradict the Quran. How nobody can see Allah and then Muhammad, he saw Allah. <laughs> and you know, brother, the, the weather in news, they tell you wrong weather in news. And the hospital, they don't tell you that your wife, she have a baby boy or a baby girl. And only Allah know what is in the womb, okay? And yes, I believe that there is mountains in the sky. Who said that the, the science is true? Who said? Yes, I believe there's mountains in the sky and Allah break ice from those uh, mountains. This is true. I mean, did you see how did you beat the hell of me? This is the religion where the Muhammadan they try to fool those stupid ones who do not know anything about anything. They spend their day just eating sausages and watching stupid opera. They come to you, you have no religion, you have no faith, you have no education, you know nothing, and they can fool you. This is how foolish they are. If a foolish like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? We don't debate Muslims. I don't debate Muslims. We get them busted. Because you cannot debate a liar. See, debate have to be between two honest people. Two honest believers. Whatever they believe in. 
If I want to debate a Hindu, he have to be an honest person, he say, as it is in his religion. That will be a debate. If I want to debate even an atheist, he have to be honest about what he believe. He say exactly what he believe. He will not lie about it. So atheists are even me way better than Muslim. They have better morality than Muslims. This is the only religion in the world teach that you can lie in order to win an argument, which is proving that it is a pure satanic cult. This is why, you know, when a Christian, they, 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 they call it debate with Muslims, and some Christian, they say to me, why you don't talk about this Christian and that Christian because he don't do a good debate? My friend, we don't debate Muslims. You need to learn how to get them busted. It's like a che like like a chasing a mice. In a room, have a lot of furnitures. He go under the table. He go under the coffee table. He go behind the closet. He go under the kitchen. He go behind the refrigerator. The mice is all over the place. You have to be skilled to catch the mice. It's a mice game. It's not a debate. <laughs> we have some texting. Hello. Hey, brother. How are you? Good, brother. I was just trying to share it's the content. It's a mice game. One second, brother. Let me uh, block. Are you done with your... It's not a debate. Yeah, the you know the we we finished the the French fries. <laughs> okay, good. I was watching. Uh, I'll give you this guy's name. Uh, he, he we waited, but you were busy. His name is Abid Muslim. I'm gonna share your contact with him. So if you want to call him tomorrow. Okay. He, well, next I don't know if he's online now. I don't know uh, because I blocked him because he was being stupid and. I didn't have time because I didn't want to go live. Because when you're live, I like to watch you. I don't like to go live. No, no, it's okay. Actually, I'm going to go soon. You can go live if you want. Uh, yeah. yeah. But next time, if you want to play with him, I'll give you his contact. Let, let him let him text me. Ask him to okay. text me. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll do that. Right. No, Take good, care. Great job. By the way, the other day we had testimony of a woman. She saw Jesus and she mentioned you that God used you to uh, strengthen her faith. I told people to tell you about the testimony. She was on my live stream she said dreams of jesus coming to her and then uh she saw zechariah and one of the dreams jesus said you'll get your answers don't worry and then she found you online all right this zechariah so all right very powerful testimony of this young lady so if you ever want to interview her i'll let you know i can uh, well, there's too many so you know it's okay if she wants she likes of course she can call anytime no problem you got it but problem. don't forget to, to teach her the bible too you know because uh yeah. Seeing Jesus is a story, and knowing knowing Jesus is a different story, right? You got it. You got it. Yeah. So she's coming listening, but she just wanted to let people know God used you. So glory to God for that. I mean, so I'll tell this punk to call you so you can shish kebab him. No problem. Thank okay, you, my bro. friend. Thank you. Love you. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. <clears throat> yeah, we have a lot of people leaving Islam every day. You know, like there's people I know, there's people I don't know. And those who we do not know and they never speak to me is a lot. Uh, you know, when the Muslims, they try to defend. And they try their best by lying. That is the best way for other Muslims to leave Islam. Because they knew that their brother is lying. They knew that their sheikh is lying. You see, they are not, you know, they might like support, yeah, we yeah, brother Allah Akbar, because, you know, they feel like when you are attacking Islam, they are attacking them. They feel like Islam, like an identity for them. But inside deep their heart, they knew that this guy is a liar. He is lying nonstop. And this is how it works. So the Muslim, they think they are getting support and they get like like and subscription because they're attacking Christian Prince, Sam Shamoon, etc. But in reality, what happened is the opposite. Those who they are watching, they are seeing the reference we are giving. Those are not fake reference. 
This is not a fake website. Those are not fake hadith or verses. And the interpretation is coming from their scholars. So when they deny, it work in the opposite direction. Their own children's, they will leave Islam sooner or later. No, it's not an ignorant. All of them, they do that. This is not an ignorant Abdul. All of them, they are. All of them, they play the game of ignorant. When when David Wood was speaking to Mimi Hijab and he said to him, "Allah have a body part." What Mimi Hijab? He said, "Who said so? Do you think Mimi Hijab? He do not know. Do you think really he do not know that Allah have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have a shin, etc.? They are not. They are a sneaky snake." The serpent is inside them. They use mockery in order to win an argument. And if you are a nice person, you know, you speak in a respectful way, you will look horrible because they will mock you and you do not know what to say. Mockery is a strategic and main resource of argument in Islam. Even God of Islam, he is the God of mockery. Look, he made a chapter about the uncle of Muhammad. Ah, uh, okay, Abu Lahab, Abu Lahab, okay, Abu Lahab, what Abu Lahab, what, he, what happened to Abu Lahab? His wife, she carry wood, okay, and she wear, uh, she wear a necklace made from robe. Uh-huh, this is God? Bully? Even their God is a bully. Perdition overtake both hands of Abu Lahab and he will bless his wealth. He will not earn him any veil, okay? He shall burn in fire, okay? And uh, his wife, she, bear, she is a barrier of wood, not a fuel, you know? I mean, translate this translation is made by who? By Google, obviously. I mean, those donkeys, when they translate, is amazing. Fuel. Look, look. And his wife, too, who carry wood, uh huh, uh, okay, uh, thrown Saddam between bracket, she used to put on the way of the Prophet, uh huh. What they, they add words, man? They add words, it's not even there. Ah, this is better. Condemned, condemned are the hand of Abu Lahab. And he is condemned. Look, what the heck? You just said the word. Why are you are repeating again? His wealth did not avail him, nor did what he acquired. He will burn in the fire. And his wife, she is the firewood carrier. Her, around her neck is a robe of her thrones. Who can make a chapter like this? Nobody. They say to you, can you make Quran like this? Let me try. Let me try. <clears throat> Zakar Nayak, may Allah curse you. Zakar Nayak, may Allah barbecue. Zakar Nayak, your wife is like you. Zakar Nayak, she carry wood for you. Zakar Nayak, both of you will be in the barbecue. Zakar Nayak, even your fart smell better than you. And Zakir Nayak, your wife, she, your wife, she is wearing a necklace from the China, made by Chinese you. Ching Chung Ha, He Ho, Li, Bruce Lee, signature. This is Quran. This is God. Bashing a guy and his wife. And this is a Quran written before the before the whole world is created. But you know, I have to admit, there's a Quran nobody can make. 
Hmm. There are some verses, I mean, they are really unique. You know? <clears throat> so, you, you have, you know, you have to... Uh, you have to think about it in a different way. Hmm. Look at this uh, amazing, beautiful. Okay, believer, don't enter enter the homes of the prophet. Look how many house he have. The guy he was poor. Homes. The prophet he had many homes. He's a, he's a poor person. He's a poor poor. Unless you give him permission. Come for me to pray to come for me. Ah, the prophet is very good man. He don't want to give a meal to the poor people. <laughs> he claimed to be a prophet. Don't line up in the front of my house, okay? No meal, no food. Finito. Here we go. Allah, He gave me a verse says, Don't come to the house of the prophet. No meal, no meal. And don't wait. For it is preparation. Like what the heck? And when you are invited, go and go in, and uh, when you have eaten, disappear without lingering and covering. Just leave right away. This is irritate the prophet. Yes, huh? And he shies away from you. But Allah does not shy. I suppose that Allah is the one talking. Not Muhammad making a verse. He want to get rid of them. But Allah does not shy away from the truth. This is the truth. Man. Knowledge. And when you ask his wife for something, ask from behind the screen. <laughs> can, can anyone make Quran like this? Now, come on. Let, let us think about it. This is geography, this is science, this is so beautiful. Who can do this? And not only that, he was talking about not to eat in the prophet house, and then he was saying, and don't if he's a prophet after he die. Like, what the heck? What the connection? And if you, if his wives, after he die, that is enmity to Allah. <laughs> I'm calling the guy Sam Shamon spoke of. says he is not online all right but do you see how amazing brother who can come with this let us be honest from don't eat the food and don't wait in the front of the door and if you want to speak to the wife speak from behind the screen to don't if the wives of the prophet after he died and by the way if you ask the muslims why in Islam you encourage a woman to marry after she become widow? She said, this is better. So she will not do fornication. Okay, wonderful. So how come the wives of Muhammad are not allowed to remarry after Muhammad? Why he owned them? Do you see how filthy this man is? He owned them even, even when he died. He want to be sure nobody will touch his wives. His wife, she will not go with different men. What chapter is that? This is chapter 33, verse number 53. <clears throat> and then there's other verse, which is amazing. Uh. <laughs> Man, this guy, he made me lose my voice. <clears throat> All right. 
Do we have any Muslim before we finish for today? Are we having a good time? People, people, did you have a good time? I really, it's really annoying that when you speak to a Muslim, you have to repeat this question many times and you have to speak over him because he will try to skip the question. You see, the reason I repeat, 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 because they skip and they skip like a snake. They don't want to talk about it. Even though they are the one who opened the topic, they are the one who mentioned it. So in order to make, a, 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 they want to call it a debate, in order to get a result of your conversation, you have to enforce literally the question. Otherwise, they will let it go. And this is what happened with most of the Christians. The Muslim, he says something, they let it go. It doesn't work with me. They will keep jumping from place to place. Uh, do we have any Abdul before we finish for today? Any customer? Not even one? One of my favorite verses in the Quran actually is this verse. I find it amazing. It's my dream to make a verse like it one day, like when I became so educated. Look at this. There's no blame on the blind, nor any blame on the lame, nor any blame on the sick, nor yourself for eating at your homes. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> I mean, who can come with this? Let's, let's just be honest here. The God, he just gave us a permission. If you are a blind, you can eat at your home, okay? And if you are a person who cannot walk, you can eat at home. Uh huh. And you know what? If you are sick, yes, if you are sick, brother, you can eat at home. Not only this, all of you, all of you. I mean, what's the point then? Why you don't say... No blame in the blind, no blame in the lame. If you are going to say, nor on yourself, nobody left. I mean, when you count, you say the lame, the blind, the sick. Okay, those, all of them, they have something. They have an issue, you know? You can say, okay, there's exception maybe. But then he say, and everybody. <laughs> How deep, man. Who can make a book like this? Even Nancy but Lucy cannot. Even Joe Biden cannot. You know the thing? Okay. The, you know the thing if you are blind. Nor if you are a, you know, uh, no thing if you are a lame. Uh, nor if you, uh, you know the thing if you are sick. Uh, nor if you, you know the thing if you yourself. Uh, for eating at your home, you know the thing. And then he continue. Or, look, 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 look. Man, just deep. It's getting deeper. Philosophy. Or your father homes. <sighs> Finally, I can eat in my father home. And you know, we are talking about 1400 years ago. At that time, there's no McDonald's anyway. Where people they eat anyway? I mean, where people they eat? It's a small, tiny village. And I'm going to tell them where to eat. Or your mother is like, what the heck? I can eat in the house of my mother. Let me call my mama. Mama, I can go, I can eat in your house. Yeah. My son, Tony, you stupid Tony. All this time you do not know you can eat in my house. So where you were eating before, Tony? Where you ate the pizza last time, Tony? <laughs> and Muhammad is Tony here. Stupid idiot, Muhammad. On your brother homes or your sister homes, Look, the network is expanding. Restaurant everywhere, everywhere. I mean, just say everybody, man. Or your partner, uncle. 
homes or your paternal aunt's homes or your maternal uncle homes or your maternal your auntie's homes or who is keys in your own <laughs> this one i love it this is why i decide to work a real estate agent anyone give me the key for his house legally officially i can eat everything in his kitchen or you know what like work as a plumber or like the people they give you the key so you can go and fix their house you go to the refrigerator you put all the barbecue they have you put the hamburger you put the steak you put the yogurt and your stomach they come home they say hey plumber what are you doing why well, you are eating my food they say i got this from allah i got the key for your home therefore i can eat your house <laughs> And they say to you, who can make Quran like the Quran of Allah? I have to admit, nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, nobody, nobody. What a stupid religion. Oh boy. <laughs> and brother, when you talk to the prophet, don't talk like to him as you are talking to a brother like you, okay? Look, 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 look. He elevate himself above all. That's why I said to him, when he said that nobody, he said, first, nobody can see Allah. And he mentioned to me that Musa, he wanted to see Allah, he could not. And then when I said to him, so how Muhammad, he saw Allah, he said, oh, because Muhammad is very high. Everything, everything is coming. Everything is made for him, brother. Everything, mercy is everything from him. <laughs> and they claim that they worship God. The reality is they worship the filthy pimp Muhammad. That is the truth. I think we have enough for today. I hope you enjoyed. I will try to go down like I mean the uh, in maybe in the in the few days maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I will try to go like in the daytime in USA. So those who they are in Europe, they can join us because in the last few days, we are coming always in the same time, which is good for people in, you know, USA, Canada, uh, you know, Asia, but it's not good for people in Europe. So I will try to make it like, you know, to be fair and go a little bit sometime early, like will be maybe uh, afternoon USA, and that will be a good time for people in Europe. So uh, tell your friends that the coming broadcast will be in Europe time and let them be ready to be here. All right. Uh, tomorrow is a Sunday. I don't know if I can come. Maybe one of you asked me or an email to speak about topic of depression. I think we spoke about depression before, but I don't mind really to speak about it again. And it's good to have a good conversation with people, right? Uh, like something uh, useful beside the silly Muhammad. You know, I mean, uh, Islam is uh, teaching about Islam is not useful really, except Muslim cannot deceive our children. You know, uh, they cannot deceive us. This is the only use of it. Is otherwise, it's just a stupid, stupid dummy cult. Uh, God is not a pimp. God, no way he will be a pimp, or even though Islam is a religion of pimps. No question of that. This is a religion approved actually to be a pimp. Uh, in the chapter of Al Ahzab, it says, Force not your slaves, girls, to work as a prostitute if they choose a chastity, which means if they don't choose, it's okay to use them as prostitutes. Uh, so I will see if I can come tomorrow if not the day after we will see but I will try uh, to be fair from time to time go in you know afternoon time in USA which will be good time for people in Europe uh, I love it when CP mimicking mimicking Zachar Naik I'm not mimicking this is him Zachar those people they think I'm mimicking you Christian Prince Nobody can mimic me. And simply, I'm unique. And Allah, he said to me, Christian Prince, he cannot mimic you. Okay. He said that. 
What, what verse? Chapter 13, verse number 13. It said the Christian print cannot mimic you. Okay, chapter 13, verse 13 says that the angel is a thunder and the thunder is an angel. What does it have to do with me? Christian print. First of all, you are like a thunder on Islam and you are like a lightning. But by Allah will, we are going to take you and use you to charge our phone. What the heck? Zakir, I am like a thunder and I am, that's mean I'm an angel. Christian prince. Don't deceive yourself. You are not an angel. Uh -huh. So what am I? Huh? Zakir, what am I? Christian Prince, I will not tell you. I want you to be confused. Forever. This is my punishment for you. All right. Zakir, you will not tell me what I am. I'm now confused. I like it when the Muslim is saying, Allah, he made Mary have a son, and you Christian are confused. You think that his father is God. So the God of Islam, he made us, he made Mary have a son as a miracle to make us believe. But look what Allah, he did. He make us believe in the wrong direction. <laughs> because if this is the purpose of this miracle, to make us believe, and if Allah is God, he knew the future. Don't he knew that all those who will believe in Jesus, they will agree that Jesus is God? So Allah, he gave Jesus the wrong power he gave him everything wrong which is leading the Christian to believe is God he gave him the power according to Muslim to be the creator and then they asked the Christian why you believe that Jesus is God well you just said he's the creator he created from the mother bird is it what does God do you just said he breathed into the mud and give it a soul a spirit you just said he resurrect people from death you just said he can tell you what you hide in your houses, which means he knew the future, he knew the unseen. Is it the Quran says, and who can know the unseen except Allah? Anyway, <clears throat> I think we have enough for today. <coughs> I better go before I lose my voice. And uh, uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. I hope you have a good time. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our Patreon so you can receive. Uh, our Patreon is for free and our service is for free. All right. Uh, you know, I know that there's some people that they support, but most of you, you don't. Our service is always for free and will be always for free. The Lord, he says, for free you took, for free you give. But in the same time, nothing is for free. The blood of Jesus was not really for free. He paid for it with his life. And God who sent his only son to save you, it might be look for free, but it is very priceless. Nothing for free. You took for free, for he gave you for free. But what you give back for free? So let us give for free. Share the video. I don't want you to make a donation. Share the video. Download the video. I mean, at least, at least, just, just do something. At least download the video. At least cut it pieces. At least make a different topic. At least bring people to debate us. At least teach your family. At least share. At least do something. Don't be just another number in this earth. All of us, we will go. And there is people will be remembered. And there is people, they are gone forever. Nobody will remember you. So you choose to be a prince or a princess, or you be just a number. And then the Lord will ask you, when you spend this life in this earth, what you did? You will say, I was busy making money, buying cars, watching movies. From their fruits, you shall know them. Ask yourself the exact question. What is my fruits? How many people you brought to Christ? How many? If the Lord, he asked me the question, I will be happy to answer. If the Lord asks you the question, what you will say? Just think about it. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you again, this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. See you soon.